Hello, hello everybody. I hope your Monday morning is going well so far. It's 8.16 in the morning here in Florida. And I don't... And there's other times for because of, because of time zones. But I hope everyone's doing well. Like the start of the day is going... Starting... Good, at least. But we are gonna be gonna be playing some Final Fantasy fourteen online and trying to get to Heaven's Ward. And I'm like a hundred and twenty one quests um there, so we still have a long, long way to go. But we will get there eventually. So let's just jump right into it and I hope my computer does not well crash again like it did on what day was it Friday I think it was Friday but let's just jump right into it I don't remember I don't remember where we were the final flight of the Enterprise ah so the Star Trek Lord Hartrifant would like to introduce you to his witness. The man with knowledge of the Enterprise awaits you outside. I pray his information proves useful to you. And I want to make sure I'm not muted. No, you don't. Okay. I'm gonna jump. Okay, it's trying to jump. So he's outside. Discompose cal cataloger. How quickly the commoners' opinion chain opinions change. They say Lord Francel is innocent now, but just a few days prior. Anyway, you were inquiring as to the whereabouts of an airship last seen in Carthus several days before the calamity. Yes. Well, it so happens that I was monitoring the night sky at the observatorium during that period. I recall that a small vessel came from the direction of Gredania and landed near the Stone Vigil in the far northwest. The garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have any hope of securing it, though Lord... Hartrefont is, from all indications, quite fond of you, so mayhap he can lend you a few? In, an, in any case, I have done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. Bye! Now but back to Hartrefont. Oh. So you've at last located the Enterprise. I believe congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil? Ah, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by the dragons for years, and all access is restricted by decree of House Durndare. I will write a letter to Lord Jillamount of Whitebrim Front and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice, so I suggest that you request Lord Francel to do, do the same. Now that your business in Camp Dragonhead is concluded, I suspect we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well in your journeys, Hawks. May Halone guide you. Ah, so... Dragon Country. Oh, Nils. Kitty, kitty. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
Crocodile. Feral Croc. It doesn't even look like a, like a crocodile whatsoever. Oh, he's over here. He is over here. Um. Boot. Oh, can I not? Why is he in here? Why is friend still in here? Oh, is this his home? Okay. I forgot. Wonderful to see you again, Hawks. If there is anything I can do to repay you, name it. So the airship you seek is likely inside the Stone Vigil. It shames me to say that it too was once an outpost held by House Halenart. In the chaos that followed the calamity, the Dravi Dravanian, Dravanian Horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the stone vigil, House Dundair instead has been charged with the duty, given that I doubt my I doubt that my words will carry much weight with Lord Drillamont. Nevertheless, I will write you your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution. The Cravens, who attempted to destroy House Halenart, have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred towards us, and towards you now as well. Well, they can come and fight me if they, they want to. I dare them. But they won't, because whoever's doing it is a bunch of cowards. Wimps. What am I doing? Get on my mount. Get on my kitty cat. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do after I, f I get to Heaven's Ward. I may just keep on doing the, s the quests. Maybe, maybe, the main story quest, or just stop with the main story quest and do these side stuff. Because I would, I want to do all the side stuff, but I'm only trying to get to Heaven's Award because there is a, um, thing that lets your mount fly, which I really want. I want, the, I want mounts to fly. And hello, Nutty. How are you? Where, am, where is this guy? Wait. Where is this? Where is it? Good man, how, how about me? I'm doing, I'm doing great. I spent like the whole day yesterday pretty much sleeping. Literally sleeping. I think I slept for like 15 hours. Not completely. Who knows? Damn. It was like on and off sleep. Like I woke up, grabbed something to, to drink, eat, pass back out. Like, I went to sleep around 6.30 p.m. after the, my last eating and woke up at 5 a.m. Like, only three hours ago. It was just a lot of sleeping. 
How far am I in Ratchet and Clank? Well, I farmed off stream to get my, um, a lot of my weapons to max level. Because I maxed out. What did I, what guns did I max out? Oh no. Um, I almost maxed out the Sheepinator. It's at level 8. The incinerator, I maxed out. Um, I forgot the other gun. And I'm almost maxed level as well, and that's why I stopped. Because I want to get the trophies on stream. So I stopped when it was like a hair to the last level of, for Ratchet. And I have all the guns. And I have enough crystals to max out every single gun. Like, I have enough raritanium, very raritanium, to finish all the modifications. So when I stream that game again on Thursday, I will get the max modifications um, trophy and the ma max level for Ratchet trophy. You're planning on finishing Shadow of Mordor. Didn't you just... When did you start that game? Because I must have missed a stream because... Yesterday if, if you... I think you did stream yesterday. But I was asleep most of the day, so... There are some games you really wanted to play, so you gotta finish Shadow of Mordor. And a few days ago... Oh, really? Wow. Finish finishing Shadow Moto that quick. Nice. But yeah, I I think I should be finishing Ratchet and Clank. On Thursday. And then I can move on to SpongeBob. Yes, I got I rented SpongeBob SquarePants. Um Battle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated. I lo I like Spongebob Squarepants. Used to watch, watch it a lot. And I did like, um... What was that other game that released on PS3? The last Spongebob... Um, something about Plankton. Revenge of Plankton or something. Yeah, you did two streams yesterday. Honestly, could have finished it quicker. Just been doing like 20 hour streams lately. What? My dude. Take it from someone like me that streams for a long, long time. Playing that much and streaming that much is a burnout magnet. Oh. Pff. Woo. Not 20 hours. I uh, I'm happy that's not a bunch of twenty hours there, nutty. <laughs> yeah, you streamed that when you when it came out. It was very fun. Which one? This because there's two SpongeBob's I I bring bring up the um, Battle for Bikini Bottom and that Plank Revenge of Plankton. I think it was called. It was the last, it was the last Spongebob that was re released on PS3 before PS4 came out. Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I'm hoping to get that one platinum, it should be easy. It's Spongebob. And the other Spongebob game was a piece of cake to platinum too. But I enjoyed myself. Because Spongebob is one of those things that I just play for fun. You desire an audience with Lord Trillamount, do you? Ha! I desire a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. What do we have here? Letters from Lords Houchafont and Francel, is it? A likely... Oh, you're serious. Hmm, what to do? What to do? 
Yeah, you almost got all the achievements on PC for that game without trying. Yeah, they... It's a Spongebob game, so it's gonna, not going to be hard. Because, well, it's, a, it's supposed to be a family slash kids game. So, um, if they made it extremely difficult, kids won't be able to do anything of those <laughs> whatsoever. Like, can you imagine if there was an actual achievement slash trophy in Spongebob saying, you have to get from the beginning to end without getting hit once. <laughs> Actually, I hope there's no trophy like that. Please, no. <laughs> ye, ye of little faith, Sir Brunadier seems ill inclined to help you. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Drillamount's attentions are focused solely on the stone vigil at present. In any case, it is not my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to. Sir Alboris. Yes, Sir Alboris can surely accommodate you. Seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. You don't, you don't know why, but you want to play Spider-Man Miles Morales again, even though you've played it like five times. Because you love the game. Even though uh, this is a game that you do not like, but Dishonored. I love Dishonored so much, I platinum that game five times. I ain't kidding, and I'm actually going for a sixth time. If you, if you love a game, you're going to play it multiple times. That's just how it goes. That is how it goes. Not that you don't like Dishonored. You, you just want kind you just Okay. I just want kind of Okay. That's a broken sentence. Um, let me see. You kind of burned out at the time at that time. Understandable. Understandable. I've been burnt out. I've been burnt out from gaming and streaming. So that's why I took a giant two week break. After like. Let me see. I think the last time I like I streamed was on the 19th of June. And I didn't. And I did not stream again until July 1st. Because I was just so burnt out from gaming and streaming. So where is this, sir? Where are you? No. Not you. You, you butchered that sense. That's fine, I figured it out. You you just were kind of burnt out at the time at that time. Cause that was after forty hour streams in three days. Oh, I understand, nutty. I understand. That's why I made my schedule. Be that I stream every other day. Now, like I stream if I like today I'm streaming on Tuesday. N the next stream will be on Thursday. Then it'll be Saturday. Then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday. You you get the picture. But every other after a stream stream day, I take a take a break day pretty much. And that's been helping me with my, with the whole burnout situation, because I don't want to burn myself out again. Where is this person? Where is this Sir Albos? You have a list, a whole list of games you want to replay. Oh, and what, what games would those be? If you don't mind me asking. 
repair gear. Hold on. The Last of Us 2, The, La the Last of Us, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Infamous Second Son, Mafia, Mafia 2, Mafia 3, Uncharted 4, Days Gone. I haven't even played Days Gone until since that whole thing it was on PS Plus, and I streamed it that once. It's not that I didn't like it, it's just, there's just so many other games I was playing. And it kind of got put on the um, back burner for now. Pretty much. Infamous Second Son. Is 60 FPS on PS4? Do you mean PS5? Come on! Where is it, sir? It's right here. And I can't get any lower than this this floor. Dang it! Is there a lower floor than this? Because I don't see it. Ma'am, is there a lower floor than this? Oh, is it? Is this the floor? Oh, thank you. I can't even see that door blending in with the building. Sir Brunadier bade you speak with me, did he? I know not why he presumed I would be in a better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Lord Drillamount hasn't the time to spend speaking with low-ranking knights such as I. However, he always has a moment to spare for head Trujian Estidian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? I was just there. Yeah, PS5. Figured. <laughs> right now. Where was this? Astidian. There you are. Are you here to visit a patient, sir? What's this? Letters of introduction from House Fortemps and Halenart. With documents such as these, you need seek an escort. Pray proceed to the barracks and speak with Sir Gurdane now. He should know Lord Drillmount's current whereabouts. Really? Come on. Oh, look who it is. Alphanard. <sighs> and what is this guy going to send me to then? I wonder. I did not join a fate. Thank you. What reason have you for barging into? Oh, I see. Well, you are in luck. Lord Drillamount is... Just up these stairs. Let us know, though, I would not expect much. House Durandir as a whole does not hold adventures in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and succinctly. Show proper respect, and it shall be re returned in kind. Sir Gurnow permitted your passage? Very well. Speak. Y 
you wish to brave a ruined outpost filled with scalekin to secure an airship that may or may not be there. Are you the avatar of the furry fury herself? We are the Skyons of the Seventh Dawn, Lord Drillamount. You know our name and you know our deeds. We are we are come to Corthus to slay Gruda, Lady of the Vortex. To that end, we seek the Enterprise, the airship of Master Sid Nan Garland, who stands before you now. Master Garland, you're alive? But that's impossible. Indeed, indeed it is, my lord. Do, do not be deceived by their honeyed, honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. At this critical moment in Ishgardian history, as House Durandere marshals its forces to retake the Stone Vigil, who should appear in white brim front but three mysterious strangers? Said Garland, missing and presumed dead since before the Calamity and two Skyons of the Seventh Dawn, a defunct band of misfits recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses may have been duped by these grandio grandiose lies, but I shouldn't hope that House Durndare would have greater sense. I know not why these three seek the Stone Vigil, but I know that we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, I nearly believe this mummer's farce. You three will not enter the outpost until we have reclaimed it, and until you declare your true intentions as well. It could be moons before House and Dad purges the dragons from the stone vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. Sid, Hawks, we must do whatever it takes to earn Lord German's trust. Understood. Jeez, what? This this guy is a jack jackal. That guy was a jackal. And I would I would bet that that guy is the one that's headed out for Lord Fensel. He is the one doing it all. I'm not joining a dang fate, dang it. Stop it. I'm not joining it. Hustafort. Factual folklore. Hustafort is eyeing you with interest. You the lad responsible for that commotion upstairs? I Word travels fast in White Brim. Front, I gather you still wish to change Lord Drillmont's mind? If there's one thing I've learned about the man in my time here, it's that he listens to and respects the opinions of those under his command. Win over the barracks, and he's sure to take notice. How, you ask? That's easy. Serve the poor souls decent fare for change. The last few supply shipments contained no meat whatsoever, and the knights are rightfully beginning to complain. I'm thinking we could could prepare them steaks using mud puppy tail meat. Chunt be a quality meal, tis true, but it, it'd be a damn sight better than nothing. If you've a mind to lend a hand, why not await a looking mud puppy in Denifin Pass and take this bottle of vinegar? Locals say it weakens mud puppies by clogging their mucus glands, drying the skin. Okay. Oh, I did not talk to this chocobo keep. How could I? There we go. Mounts. No. 
Hmm. Wait, where do I go? Oh. Around this way. What are some games you look forward to playing? Hmm, that's that is a good question. I am looking forward to playing Kingdom Heart Kingdom Hearts on September 19th. I'm doing that because it's the 19th anniversary of, of Kingdom Hearts releasing in the United States. So I figured like why not? Still 19th, 19th anniversary playthrough of it. And I love Kingdom Hearts, so that's one game I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on Tales of Arise, Arise to stream that on, in September as well. What other games? To be to be honest, I don't know what else. Because there's so many games I'm looking forward to playing. But but hold on. But yeah, I think that's the main two I'm looking forward to is Kingdom, Heart Kingdom Hearts and Tales of Rice. How about how about you, Nutty? What specific game are you you the most excited to play in the future? Whoa. Dang, mud puppy. Thousand. You have a lot too. Oh, I already killed it. That's it. Okay. Far Cry 5, Horizon Zero Dawn, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2 to 3, Borderlands 3. There was a lot. Seems like there's a lot.
Resident Evil 8. That's another good one. You go on forever. Well, so can I. But, like I said, the, the only two that's main is Kingdom Hearts and Tales of Arise. But, that's the main, main two. But there was so many others. That I can name I'm looking forward to playing. Like, Dead Island. Um. The Witcher. Goodness, just thinking of 100%ing that game. Ooh. <sighs> you finally have a reason to wait to play. You have. You finally have a reason to wait to play Witcher 3 now because of the next gen update. You can't wait to play Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide. It didn't work, did it? I I thought it was an idiotic idea, and yet you made made me go there. Oh dear! Remind me to never wander near Mud Puppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any road. This should only take a moment. I'll just need to do this, and this, and voila! Never seen a man cook steaks that fast, have you? Take these three and distribute them to the hungry knights here. And up above. You there, lad. Don't think I didn't see you and the cook conspiring together. Let me make myself perfect, perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my trust with a steak, it would be my pleasure to oblige you. Then here's your steak. Mwahaha! Yes! Yes! I feel invig invigorated. Refreshed. As if I have the strength of ten men, and their wits are besides, I, I should have no trouble con concocting a new reason to refrain from sentry duty. And then you sit, just sit back down. I'm blind. We ought at least receive a hearty meal before we ma march off to die in this god's forsaken waste. Is that a fresh cooked steak? Halloween's blessing, blessings be upon you, my friend. Mud puppy meat or no, it's the most de delicious food I've had in a fortnight. Ha, fortnight. <laughs> ever must be trained, ever must we train to maintain our skill at arms. Yet never are we to receive proper sustenance. Hey, here's your sustenance. You are a godsend, my friend. Too few appreciate that house Durndir must do more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. Speak with him again. Okay, fine. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale, eh? Ah, but I've forgotten about the hard-working Chirurgians at the infirmary. So rarely do they take their meals here in the hall. Mind taking this steak to Sinota? She's doubtless so preoccupied with the health of her patients, patients that she's neglected to attend to her own. So she's the infirmary, so that's upstairs. Somewhere. Where are you? Um. Excuse me? There you are. She's gone and I couldn't save her. Wonder what happened. Beg your pardon, sir, but I am busy attending to this man. I will be with you in a moment. Is that... Come to think of it, 
It has been quite a while since I last ate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll eat the rest right away. And just leave that guy there in pain. Poor guy. Hmm. I'll take the... I take the bread. The nice bread. And seed. Things are fairly calm at the present. But as soon as there is a sortie, sort we shall have our hands full again. We could use another Trojan, certainly. The best inventions. Sid would like to furnish the infirmary with a new... Al Alembic. Might I have a word with you, Hawks? It concerns the Churgians. I don't know. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient Alembics for their needs, you see. So I used some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced Alembic, both as a gesture of goodwill and as a means to help me recover my, mem my memories. Since working with my hands kindles familiar feelings, all I require to complete the, de complete the device are the cores of three ice spirits, though commonly, commonly used to reduce the temperatures of alchemical mixtures, there is a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate it without. It must sound ridiculous to you, impossible even. Yet somehow I know it will work. Oh no, so you know what I've got nutty since this wheel and you enter stream at least oh goodness. Well oh forgot I forgot to change the colors of those two. I should change that right now. Let's see what this looks like. Because it's just too small. Dang wheel. <laughs> oh, yay. Invert controllers. And that's like... 30 minutes, I believe. Yes, 30 minutes. And voice band for five minutes. So I can't speak for five minutes and invert controllers for 30. Now, the question is, can I um, invert controllers in this game? I don't even know how to do that. Character, system, controllers. Wait, is... Oh, 
Why did I not have that on the entire time? I like vibrations. So does it seem that I can do inverse? No. Maybe it's under... No, not display. I don't know why it would be under display. Eh. So I'll just give you another wheel of spin because that's not possible. No cursing for 30 minutes. And all right, Nutty. Go have a good relax, relaxation and have fun, fun with your stream. Now, let me see. So, 9.33 for no cursing. 908 for no talking.
now I can talk again. Have you obtained the cores? If so, please show them to me. What an amazing device! But is it truly an, an alembic, sir? I've never seen its like before. I too am unsure what to make of this machine. While certainly impressive, I have no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, if it is as effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create, the lives we could save. Even so, I wonder. Where the the, the kindly stranger, stranger, bearer of gifts, wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at cost. Their earnest efforts are but a means to an as yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a sus suspected heretic. They did what? Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. We almost succumbed to the temptation proffered by these, these unbelievers. This, this, this guy. I, I want to punch him. Why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Lord Francel's trial? One of his reasons he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Yeah, I want to stop that guy. I'm saying he's a betrayer. Because he has this... Because to me, he has the... What do you call it? The... I can't even figure out the... I can't even figure out the word. I know it. It's at the tip of my tongue. But I just can't say it because I don't... I... I don't know. But he seems determined that if he does not like someone... At all... He literally goes after them and try to squish him like a bug so he may have a beef with Lord Frenzel and he he's been planting all the evidence on him making it look like he was a heretic and then I came in and foiled his plan and now because I foiled it he now hates me and wants to squish me out Squish me like a bug and get me to, you know, leave. Trying to run us out of town. Influencing Inquisitors. Sid is concerned about Inquisitor Gulame. Before we can persuade Lord Drillamount to help us, it seems we must convince Inquisitor Gul Gulame that we are not his enemy, but just how might we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor. Not good. Despite him being such a prominent figure in Corthus, perhaps we should learn more about more by speaking with the people of Right Rim Front. Share your findings with Alphanard in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from from there. A, a good Inquisitor? Yeah, I don't I don't think he's a good inquisitor at all. Cause goodness. Inquisitor Gulame? Yes, of course I know of him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to right brim front several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in snow that day and I had the ill fortune of being assigned to the Knight's Watch. Well, while the stronghold slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior in a darkness black as 
pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at one point, where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but slipped and took a ter terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later in this very bed, where I have lain recuperating from my injuries ever since. I had tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Gulame rescued me, carrying my un unconscious body to the gates. I hope I owe him my life, sir, and I hope to one day repay his kindness. Oh, it's right there. So I presume that the person I'm supposed to talk to is Eeyore. Inquisitor Gulame, I haven't the foggiest of whom you speak, unbeliever. Aye, we have learned of your deeds at which drop. I will not be party to whatever the dastardly schemes you've hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. I didn't do nothing. I just stopped a BS trial. Evidence that was planted on him. Patrick, under Inquisitor Gulame's watchful gaze, unprecedented numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he does, he goes days without sleep. So great is it, his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a goodly, righteous man to protect us. For sure, he's using it in the wrong ways. The Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Halon's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. I have this feeling this guy's not who he says he is. In case you have yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate. I realized it soon after our arrival, but paid it no minds in mind as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in the in local affairs. <sighs> Never mind. Our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with this irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me you have been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm. It should come as no surprise that he is held in high regard. Even so, I am beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us more closely review the testimonials you obtained, Hawks. Mayhap they will provide insights into Inquisitor Gulame's motivations. Yes, I'll take that. By the li lights of Ishgard, Alpha Naud appears to be in deep thought. Of course he is. Something, uh, something tro troubles me about the wounded knight's account. He claims he fell chasing a figure in the darkness. That he saw outside the eastern gate. Yes, but the main road leads to the southwestern gate. Since we've arrived in right brim front, I've, I've seen no travelers arrive by the eastern gate. Moreover, he said he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from, an, from north of the eastern gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies not. But, but a deep chasm. Assuming Sir Jolette is not misremembering, the Inquisitor is behaving that 
that night makes absolutely no sense, at least to me. Mayhap retracing his steps will shed light on this mystery. Okay. Such an area outside right in front for clues. Alright, I I shall do as you say. In times of relative calm, the soldiers of House Sterndale expect to receive only the best equipment. But now that all of White Bram Front is preparing to take this, the stone vigil, they have desperate need for material, as well as individuals like me who can produce it. I don't, I don't know. I decided to talk, talk to him, with him. Go this way. Oh my. This seems dangerous. Yes, very dangerous. Um. So how did I get through that gate? Wait, what? Excuse me? So it's up these stairs. No. Oh, it's oh, it's this door. Oh goodness. <sighs> what am I the one here? Wait, is it down there? Wait a minute, was I? Wait, was I going the right way? I was going the right way and I blew it. All right. Let, let my health heal. Cause screw it, I'm not wasting my time going back around again. Come on, heal, heal, heal. Okay, we go. There begins to crack with a throw energies. Plasmoid. Maybe these things is what you saw? Maybe. Snow mound. Wait, Inquisitor's corpse? What happened to this guy? And Maybe... Inquisitor... I'm just gonna take a guess. Inquisitor Gulam... Is that an actual Inquisitor? And this... One um found out, and Gulam, whatever his name name is, got to him before he could report port him. Maybe.
because maybe the silhouette that the knight saw was Lord Gilmut, Gil Mal, whatever his name is again. But since he didn't see him, and just saw silhouettes, then Chris just took him, it took him, picked him up, took him to the infirmary. To make it look like he was the hero and he was a silhouette. Maybe. Who knows. You found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me waiting in sus suspense. Let's see it. Hmm. Given the contents of this encyclical, I believe you have just made the acquaintance of the real Inquisitor Gulame. Newly come to Corthus and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity, for even if he were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a pap papal appo appointment? Still, while this in is incontrovertible incont proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we have yet to discern his true identity. Why he has decided to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, Hawks, before he learns that he his deception has been discovered. I knew it. I knew it. Because he was trying to get Francel out of the picture for some reason. And I stopped that which made him hate me of all things. Of all people. And to get rid of me, so that I don't ruin his plans any further, he's trying to get convince like the whole town, this whole place, to run me out of town, which, which is what he's been try, been trying to do. So, yeah, knew it. I have your number. Blood for blood. Afinard is determined to discover Inquisitor Gulame's true identity. Since Lord Gilmount has already been turned against us, I fear that this encyclical, cyclical alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But what might persuade a man so quick to disregard the endorsements of two high houses? The cook did say that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to provide testimony that supports our claim. Yes, mayhap that is the only way left to us. Confront Sir Jolant with the evidence you discovered and see if it helps him to recall the truth of that knight. As a man of faith, he may find it difficult, difficult to cope with such a horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do everything within our powers to secure the Enterprise. Oh, he's right here. Oh, you have returned. Is there something else you wanted to ask? The Inquisitor is an imposter? Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. He is a paragon of virtue, a dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that this is all a lie? If you are so certain that your ludicrous story is true, then go and speak with Sir Penula. Penilla. She was at the Eastern Gate that night and she helps the Inquisitor carry, carry me here. But I would never speak against the man who saved my life. You! I I do not believe I know you, sir. Pray move along and tro trouble me no more. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not at all. Cast doubt? Okay, I cast doubt. I 
doubt you. I doubt you. Now if I can, you know, find doubt, it'd be just great. Doubt is somewhere around here. I thought that was like right on the top here. So hot, angry, shocked, shrug, stagger, surprise, grovel, doubt. Oh, okay, there's doubt. You know, you know, don't you? Fury, take me. I prayed this day won't would come. When Sir Gillette gave chase, I followed close behind. He didn't fall. One of those Gervanian abominations, abominations, lashed out at him. Nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. But what came from the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He, he knew things about me, about my family. Secrets I had never told another. He said that if I kept his confidence, Sir Gillette and I would be spared. But if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His robes mocked him as an inquisitor, but, but I knew him to be false. Together we carried Sir Jolant to the infirmary, and on his first night in Whitebrim front, Inquisitor Gilliam was heralded as a hero. Soon after came the accusations. Countless men and women of good morale standing, seized whilst in possession of draconian rosaries. As I feared, he was condemning the innocent to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Jolant, wanted to put an end to the madness. But then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing until Lord Fensel was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast of right rim front. So I took several from his chest and planted them in shipments bound for Skyfire locks, as I, had ho as I hoped they were discovered and considered evidence of a conspiracy against House Halonart. Thus exonerating Lord Vansell and casting doubt on the other recent trials. And that is the entire truth. I swear, Halone, forgive me for not acting sooner. So. Huh. So this guy was planting all the evidence as I... Uh, as I said, what's happening? Man, I live when I'm right. Interacting with snow pile? Ooh, a chest. What's inside the chest and the suspicious box? Let's open. Present your findings to Drillmont. Are you sure this is a good idea? But, but who is this? This, this um. Imposter. And why would he want all the houses, houses, and all these good-standing people to be taken out? Oh no! Oh, what the? That scared me. Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you a you three access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. Repeat myself. 
there had better be a very good explanation for why you were carrying these rosaries. And where did you find these papal encyclical? Fury take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic? Never before have I heard such an unbelievable tale. But this is... But this evidence and your testimony could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friends, Hawks, and for that I deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost, but first I must needs beg your assistance. Help me and my knights bring this infernal imposter to justice. With pleasure, sir. With pleasure. The heretic among us. Hey, among us. So this, this, in, her, this in, inquisitor imposter was playing among us the entire time. Yep. Getting rid of the good, the good beans, and everyone voting him out, and believing the imposter. Lord Jellamount requires your, assistan your assistance in bringing the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Gulame to justice. That thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. How it's take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for Snow Cloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul whom he has branded heretic. If we hurry, there may be, still be time to re prevent further tragedy. Lend me your strength, Hawks. Together, let us put an end to this imposter's heresy once and for all. Yeah, let's take this guy down. Oh, let's bring him down. Okay, mount guide. Do, 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 do. Still like this. I still like this mount music. It's very relaxing. Wait, is this the? This cannot be the um. The uh. The dungeon yet? Can it? It says it's supposed to be the the um stone visual. We're not really going to stone visual yet. We're going to take care of a heretic. Unless they have unless wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hester and Dead Knight. Good to have you with us, sir. When Lord Jellamount arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, we will need to use force. Are you prepared for that eventuality? Yes, let's take this guy out. You need tremble so, my child. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Halloween's halls. Only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all that is holy, I swear to you that I have never questioned the teachings of Halon. Cornered Expeditioner. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. My Lord Drillamount, what is the meaning of this interruption? You are aware that I am at present conducting an interrogation, are you not? Silence, villain! I name the heretic, murderer of Inquisitor Gilame and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard, to your own Keith and kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. I 
Ah, grave allegations indeed, but you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Jellamount, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? You whose hands are black with the blood of who, those whose only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade. You speak to me of Ishgardian innocence? Ha! Ah, all are complicit in these crimes, for all live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Drillamount, then come. Let us see how Ishgardian steel fares against Dravanian fang and claw. Show the heretic no mercy, he must paint the innocent blood he has spilled. Yeah, I can take one. Oh, did he just turn into a dragon? Go to say that kind of that does kind of look kind of cool though. I have to be honest. Take you out, dude. I take out these other guys, these little minions take us. My glamours dispelled. Your plans lie in ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. Ha <sighs> ha. <sighs> you may not recall the many Ishgardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid with blood, and for that I am content. My... My only regret is that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will rend you asunder. And when you're, you are dead, white brim front shall fall. Defiant to the last. Leave the body for the crows. His ilk deserve not better. Hawks, I must apologize for involving you in this sordid business. You should never have been asked to intervene in Ishgardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the matter of 
which first brought you into our midst. It is past time that you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray visit me at right rim front and bring your associates. Whoops. Hi. <laughs> there we go. So what's everyone's plan on this Tuesday? Do 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 To do. Okay, my tablet is almost done charging, and then I can use that to look at where I am in the storyline. Where have you been, Hawks? Hmm? The false inquisitor has been slain. Has he? Yes. Well, his was a tale I always like to end in bloodshed. Though you, you have over, overcome the latest in a long line of unfortunate impediments, I would ask you not to revel in your victory just yet. We can celebrate once we have secured the Enterprise. I love that they call, they're calling it this the ship, the Enterprise, because there's also the ship name and Kingdom Hearts, your little gummy ship that you get is called the Enterprise, and that's also the ship name in Star Trek, the new next generation, I think, right? Um, plus a short, but then Star Trek in general, the Enterprise. Will it go be able to go to? Galaxies far, far away, never traveled by any race ever, or what? Hallelujah, level up at 56. Jeez. In pursuit of the past, Alpha Naud is eager to enter the Stone Vigil. As I am sure you will agree, it is past time we entered the Stone Vigil. Pay Lord Drillmount a visit and remind him of his obligation to us. Sid and I will soon anon. Alright, so this is going to be the quest that will give me the next. Um, dungeon. We owe you all a great debt of gratitude. Had it not been for you, the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Gulame would still be among us, free to prey upon the innocents. I see now that I was a fool to dismiss your claims out of hand. But you must understand, it seemed too much to hope that the Skyons of the Seventh Dawn still lived. To say nothing of Master, Go of Master Galmon. Never have I been happy to be proven wrong. Well, it is gratifying to know that someone has derived a measure of enjoyment from your error. Now, if you have no further objections, we would appreciate it if you would permit us to enter the stone vigil and retrieve our airship. Yes, yes of course, it is the very least I can do, given all that you have done for us. But entering the outpost is the least of your concerns, I fear. You speak of the Dravanians that now hold the ruin. 
In part, yes. I should explain. Shortly after you first arrived, I had my men scour the old records. They confirmed that an abandoned airship had been seized by the soldiers garrisoned at the Stone Vigil in the days following the calamity. As far as we have been able to ascertain, it was still in their custody when the outpost was overrun by the dragons. Whether it was damaged or destroyed during the battle, I cannot say, nor can I give you any assurances that it has been has not been removed in, in the intervening years. For far too long, the ruin has served as a Dravanian foothold in Corthus, from which they have struck out at, at us with depressing regularity. Though we have pushed them back behind the walls, we have as yet been unable to drive them out, and I cannot say when the situation will change, or how it will change. Forgive me, Lord Drillmount, but there is no guarantee that you will prevail. In any event, we have not the time to wait. We will secure our property without Ishgardian aid. I see. Well, that may be for the best. I will inform Sir Nathalian, Nathalian of your impending visit. May Halon guide you, Skyons. So it's to our north. This way. There we are. There we go. Companion. No, not companion. Mount. My mount. Yeah, I'm not gonna try. Just, just going to Nathalian here. Hail, Hawks! Lord Drillamount has apprised me of the situation. You may enter the Stone Fissure whenever you will. Whensoever you will, or whatever. These dungeons are getting closer and closer to my level. Now that my tablet is fully charged, yay, let's find out where we are. How many quests I finished already in 1 hour and 45 minutes. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, wow, 8. Quest going on to the ninth. Okay, so what's the next dungeon? Oh, okay, so it's gonna give me two dungeons at the end of these. 
these levels. This level group, should, I should say. I am not looking forward to the patch 2.1 quest line. Thorn March hard. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. Not gonna be good at all. There we go, now that I can use my tablet, I can stop using my phone. Ah, uh, this is... The life of a DPSer, trying to find a healer and a tank. Which is pretty normal. <laughs> A little, a little sproutling. He emote. How about, um, Since I'm waiting here anyway, so why not pet a little little rock thingy? Oh, and by the way, I want to change my little um minion to something else. How about a bear? Yeah, that's going on. That's... So I'm deciding just to fight these loops. Fight anything I can find at this point. Waiting for a match. Since it probably be a little while. Hey, dragonfly. You're rather big for a dragonfly, but okay.
at this point, why not? Why not join this little fight? Fifteen minutes, eh? Oh. Well, there we go. I was gonna be the boss of this area. Someone banging a little companion? So that's cool. Didn't know you can bring a companion into a, um... Ouch. Wait, what was that? I, I was... I was... Oh. Is this fun? Dragons did take over it. I love that little, um, companion that helps fight, it seems. Okay, fine. Oh, he was already dead.
they say in the pool. So far, doing so good, I think. I think. But we haven't really gotten to the bosses yet. Which is what I'm worried about. Oh no. Trudo Yudo. Okay, I'm all going in. A little bit. Get over here. Stop running away, coward. Shoot a euro. There we go. Oh no. Carriers V. I'm from Avis. Sure, toss my ball. You may not have your toss. This is thing. Or at least not equipped. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I ever done that. Oh, now it's ice spirit sprites. And Avius again, he can be up. All of this hitching. Carrier Zeus. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm like in this dungeon. But it's quite long. Jeez. Flames. Okay. I'm here. Oh, one person is behind. Hey, dude. Koshchi. Okay, what a name. Going on, I don't even see anything that's going on. I think we're doing. I think we're doing well. I think. Do they not go after the, the chest? It seems that they don't. There's no one open the chest. <laughs> wait, wait, why, why are you going after me? You're not. Oh, that guy's not taking too much the aggro that he needs. So this. But he was attacking the, um, the healer. He's dead. I don't even know what's going on. Or Onwards, forwards we go to get to Avis again. I don't want to return anyways.
I don't know what's going on. It's so much crap is happening on the screen. Wait for him to grab the aggro first. So ish, isky mind. Oh no, this is the boss. It's the final boss. How do we beat this? Okay. I already have that part of me, that already have that part of me. Look, it's Enterprise. How is it still there? We don't know. Yes, just beyond that enormous sleeping dragon. Dang it, dragon. Move it! The dragon is not our concern. We have come for the airship, and only the airship. Sid, you and I will sneak aboard the Enterprise and prepare it for launch. Hawks, you stay here and keep an eye on the beast. If it wakes, we may need you to provide a distraction until we are ready to depart. You can manage that, can't you? Oh, sure. That settles it, then. Shall we, Sid? Sid can do it himself, as you command. Sid can do it himself, and if you can, you can stay. Okay. He just smelled them. So, you mean to slay Garuda next? Interesting. Most interesting. And you are aware that her strength greatly exceeds that of your previous primal conquests? A testament to the fanatical devotion of her followers. The Ixil are nothing if not zealous. In spite of your past achievements, I labor to believe that you will best this foe. Yet only a fool would under underestimate the great bringer of light, slayer of Ifrit, bane of Titan. If any mortal is capable of defeating the Lady of the Vortex, it is you. Win or lose, the battle should at least make for an entertaining spectacle, assuming, of course, you live that long. He's angry. Alphanud, the dragon! Confound it all! Now can I get into the fight? Thank you. Because they're waiting for me. Or not. Who knows. Let us see how well your blasphemous gifts serve you this time, Crystal Bearer. Finally. Oh, so they were waiting for me.
died. That's so long. I know where he's gonna attack. I don't know. Let's just take care of him. Oh, that's what that elusive jump does. Okay. I don't know where, where I'm supposed to go when... That way, they all just darted for the hills. They didn't, I don't even think they said, did, yeah, they said, oh, they did say GG. But they left very fast. I couldn't even give accommodation to any of them. Makes me sad. Oh, look, another crystal. Sweet. I have one more crystal to go, it seems. Hawks! Hawks! Are you alright? Speak to me!
Twelve be praised. I feared the beast had injured you. I see now why the others rated you so highly. When you were caught in the midst of that Atheric bubble with a dragon, I was all but certain my next mission would be to find a new champion. Thank the gods for sparing me that inconvenience. I have quite enough to do already, which reminds me, Sid is working on the Enterprise as we speak. Let us go and see what he has to say. What say you, Sid? Will she fly? Yes, though it will not be a pleasant ride. Well, I dare say it will be no more unpleasant than staying here. Tis a pity the Enterprise is not in a better state, but if she will allow us to quit this place, I shall not complain. If all are in agreement, let us return to Gridania. Though I would like nothing more than to set course for the Howling Eye, it is plain the Enterprise is in no condition to weather the storm. She must needs be repaired if we are to proceed with our mission. This is all so familiar. I... I know this airship. If I could just... Bah! It's no use. Let's go. Wait, where am I? Oh, I can talk to you now. Ah, how I have longed for the more agreeable climate of the Twelve's Ward. Yet I will not deny the Holy See had its calm charms. Endless detours aside, our Ishgardian jaunts proved quite an adventure. Alas, our work is far from done. We still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. No rest for the heroic, eh? Into the eye of the storm, Sid appears to be in deep in thought. Again. It calms me to look at her. It's as though I've been reunited with a part of me I never knew was missing. Hardly surprising. You did design and build her. I bear good news. The Seed Seers have granted our request to house the Enterprise. We may take as long as we require to repair her. Of course, it would be rank folly to take one moment more than we require. Garuda, lest we forget, grows stronger by the hour. If we are to have any hope of wrestling this benighted realm from her talons, it must needs be soon. Though I am no expert on the workings of airships, it seems plain to me that the Enterprise suffered much from her time in the wilderness. Am I correct, Sid? You are, frankly, 
You are. Frankly, it's a miracle she carried us this far. As you know, the Howling Eye is encircled by a raging tempest. Apt to turn proud tree to match wood. Our battle will end before it begins if the Enterprise cannot weather the storm. Given time, given time, I believe I can fully repair her. But if this tempest is as fearsome as you say, even that may not be enough. <sighs> Confound it, there must be a way. A way to brave the fury of the elements. The elements. But of course, that's it. We work upon the element itself. Using the power of a corrupted crystal, we could clear a path through the storm and spare the enterpri Enterprise a battering. I see. You propose to utilize the properties of a crystal to alter the elemental aspect of the barrier. It seems so childishly simple in retrospect. Though mayhap not to you, Hawks, we speak of the manifestations of over-aspected aether that can be found throughout Erosia. Since the calamity disrupted the land's aetheric oh currents, such crystals have become comparatively commonplace, which has been a cause of great row, as they are known to warp erythic, uh, erythic energies, including those of living organisms. The point is, we could the theoretically use a corrupted crystal to convert the wind-aspected aether comprising Garuda's barrier into aether of another aspect, one she cannot control. With certain modifications, the Enterprise should be able to deliver us to the Howling Eye in comfort, however hard Garuda blows. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. All this rests upon our ability to procure a crystal with the necessary properties. Have you any idea where we might acquire one? No, but I know a man who might. A scholar by the name of Lebertint who resides in Camp Drybone. Strange as it may sound, I met him during my time at the church. Well, Marcuse met him, I suppose, whether out of pity or for want of a mere willing listener. He would talk to me for hours at a time about his erethric studies, corrupted crystals being his pet subject. It was as a result of these conversations that poor Marcuse was observed to possess an uncommon knack for theoretical science. Blech. Hawks, I need you to return to Thanalan and seek out the scholar. Sid and I will set about repairing the enterprise in your absence. Of course. Just make me go out and do everything. Camp Tribone. Okay, you know what? Boop -doo -doo. Oh, is it Eastern Thanalan? Okay. Is it in here? Where? Is it? Where is the scholar? There you are. Hmm. Why, yes, I am Professor Lambertiant. Beg pardon? You wish to hear about my research on corrupted crystals? Truly? Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to discuss my work with a fellow man of science. I'm just here to get corrupted crystals. That's it. Nothing more. Don't get ahead of ourselves here. Sealed with science, Professor Lambertiant is about to show you something you would never forget. 
Okay. Ah, so rare it is to find yellow intellectuals in this region. Tis even rarer to find one capable of comprehending the nature of corrupted crystals. Come to think of it, there was another. A hermit to whom the church had given sanctuary. Curious fellow, unsociable, rather daft at first impression, yet possessed of an amazing affinity towards the scientific pursuits. But to the matter at hand, did you say you wished not to conduct field observations, but to harvest a corrupted cr crystal? A gods, man, at least take the necessary precautions so that you do not suffer from exposure to its harmful energies. I'm beginning to wonder if you've sufficient qualifications to handle such hazardous materials. Still, your ignorance is somehow endearing. Luckily for you, I have precisely the means by which these inherent dangers may be averted. Simply store the crystal you seek within this warded pot to protect yourself from its dele deleterious effects. Though I suppose you will be bombarded with its energies until you place it within its within the vessel. Well, perhaps it shall motivate you to work quickly. In any case, take the pot to ha 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 a student of mine monitoring the flow of aether at High Bridge, explain to him your request, and he shall instruct you in the finer points of crystal harvesting. Oh. You know what? I'm going to use my mound. Cat, I have summoned you. Now take me to my destination. If I know what way out. Okay, this is the way out. How many times must I be made to explain myself? I am not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. I should not have said that word, but it was in the sentence. I have chosen this precise pos position to perform scientific measurements. What have we here? A containment vessel? Why, this is the handiwork of Professor Lem... Lambertian, you thieving na knave, I shall call for the... Oh, you see the man himself lent it to you. Then you must have sought me out per his instruction, which means he believes me experienced enough to expound upon his explanations. At last, the recognition I so rightly deserve. With the utmost care, Ahasco is trying very hard to contain his excitement and is failing. Oh, Frabgeous Day, Kalu, Calais, that I should be chosen to guide this man. Yes, I, Ahasco, greatest of Professor Lambertian's pupils, shall see that you successfully quarry your quarry. Your timing is impeccable, in fact, for I was just preparing to procure corrupted crystals from the burning wall for my personal research. There, the devastating destruction caused by the calamity has blessed us with a bounty of sublime specimens. But something tells me that not, but a perfect piece will sa satisfy your high standards, in which case you must needs descend to the deepest depths amidst the flowing waters and the murderous Mirror Knights lies the most fantastic formation I have found thus far. Take this highly advanced researcher's tool and use it 
to separate a small fragment from the large cluster. Place it within the watered pot and bear it back to me for inspection. The path which leads from Burgundy Falls to the base of bur the burning wall is treacherous and terrifying, but advance with appropriate caution and you shall surely survive. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, I think I will be right back. I'm gonna go have some coffee. Probably something to snack on because of all this reading so far. I'm a tad lightheaded. Too much reading. Really a lot of reading. But, but I will be back.
I'm back. <coughs> okay, that helped a little bit. Okay, where to go? Bring out my kitty cat again. This way? Yes. Wait. Come on, you're supposed to. Dismount. Hey. Finally, I don't know why it wasn't letting me, you know, attack. Yeah, I'm picking all you guys out. I'm just gonna take you out. Both done. Bumble Beetle. Ha, <laughs> Bumble Beetle. Wait, a Moja that's not an enemy? That's... That's different. Oh no, he's not the mission. What am I doing? What am I doing here? And why am I going back to walking? I don't know. Good to see person. That person is. Mirror Knight. Oh, that looks cool. It's like a bird in a... Honestly, I don't even know. What did I say about that? That looks cool. Wait, is it below me? How do I get down there? Is there a way down there that's safely? That's safe? Not a way for me to, you know, die? <laughs> That'd be a nice. Because there's a lot of enemies down there, so if I fall down, that would just mean. I'm dead. Maybe there's a... Ooh, is this it? Is this it? Please see this is it. Ooh, these crystals. It looks like cactus with a crystal coming out. That's, that's cool. Ooh, I found a way. I found a way. 
corrupted cluster. And then put it in here. Back on my mount. Kitty kitty. Back to where from whence I came. That looks like a great oh, I like this area. I like all these crystals everywhere. Very well designed. I have to give them that. A long way home. That's a very long way. Jeez. But honestly, I don't think I wouldn't I wouldn't mind living in this world. Yeah, there's all these dangers and stuff. But but still. I see you come glumping back. Have you the crystal then? What a prodigiously large and lovely crystal. Professor Lambertian will doubtless chortle with joy when you present it to him in person. Oh, and upon your return, do remember to recount how I helped you with your harvesting. You barely helped. You just stood there and said, hey, go, go here. And maybe waste up, walk all the way there. Didn't really help. Wait, do I really need to walk there? No, I just screw it. I just teleport there. It's with the gill. And it's this way. And here. Nope. Upstairs. I think. I think it was upstairs. How could I forget already? Start off, I ain't got no use for you and your ilk. What did I do to you? Jeez. I just come in here and you just... See that? How rude. That's below me. How could I forget where this is? I was just there. I was just there. How could I forget? Oh, it's right here. Duh. Ugh. Jeez. My keen scholar's sense tells me that you've obtain, obtained a corrupted crystal. Am I right? If you would grant me a moment to examine the crystal. Ah, it is as you desired. 
a corrupted crystal overflowing with wind aspected aether. Hmm. Remind me, for what purpose did you intend to use this crystal again? What? To breach a barrier comprised of wind aspected aether? aether? Oh dear, that may prove problematic, as this crystal would only serve to strengthen the barrier. I suppose I am at fault for not inquiring as to your objectives from the start. Had I known your intent, I would have never sent you to H H Hasaku. But what is science, if not trial and error? And can you truly say that this failure has taught you nothing? Think, man. You now understand the methods necessary to safely collect a corrupted crystal. You will doubtless have no difficulty doing so once more. What's more, the crystal you collected could serve as an invaluable resource for the ethereal studies conducted by the students of Beldician. You've heard them. You have you've heard of them? Well, I don't mean to boast, but I have a professional relationship with the organization. Not as equals, of course. I would never be so bold as to claim that level of, of expertise. Are you all right? Your eyes seem to have glazed over for a moment. Anyway, I shan't keep you from your task. You've still a corrupted crystal to find. Professor Lombardians knows where you might find the crystal you seek. A promising prospect. Corrupted crystals of sufficient size and strength are not all that common, I fear. Fortunately, one of my other students, Sienna, claims to have discovered another promising site in Eastern Lonesca. Wait, that's not correct. Eastern Lonesca was where she was nearly killed when wandering too close to an imperial castrum. Haha. <laughs> now that made for an amusing anecdote. It was Western Lonesca. Pharaoh Sirius. On the Isles of Umber, to be precise. I can't recall her exact reasoning. Something to do with one of Delamud's talons or some such nonsense. What I can say for certain is that she is still in an aeroport. Aeroport. Attempting to gain access to the Isles. Why not travel there and see if Kaina's inquiries bear fruit? If you can look past the crass and violent ways of the local pirates, you might find your time there to be quite pleasurable. Oh, and do not forget to take your ma makeshift warded pot, lest she think you unprepared for the task. Okay, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that pot. It's right in front of me this way. Um, she's supposed to be here, right? Where is she? What the heck? I'm like right above her right now. Is she above me? Is she up there? Oh, she was standing right here. Ah, <sighs> uh, a eh? corrupted crystals. Sir, I have no interest in being the butt of your jokes, so if you've no other reason for addressing me, kindly, kindly leave me be. Well, I be, I'll be damned. Professor Lambertiant did send you. Beg your pardon. It seems we got off on the wrong foot. foot. You don't say. I'm Sienna, greatest of the professor's pupil, pupils, which is doubtless why he bid you to see you seek me out indeed I am an accomplished 
scholar with an extensive background and ah uh, oh guys just listen to me prattle on and on i must have given this introduction a dozen times by now Sienna is frustrated with the progress of her research. It's probably not pirates. As I told the professor in my many missives, I believe that the area surrounding Pharaoh Sirius is replete with corrupted crystals of exceptional strength. Unfortunately, I've yet to test my hypothesis as all access to the Isles of Umber is prohibited at present for reasons unknown to me. You see, my attempts to acquire this information are often met with annoyance and disdain. It's rather puzzling, since I always take the time to explain my motivations in great detail to the subjects of my questioning. Mayhap you will have better luck wrestling information from these yellow jackets? I've all but given up at this point. Fine. I'll go do a... I don't know, a body slam or something against these people. Pranab. Ah, you startled me. Don't you know better than to sneak up on a person at a time like this? What with all this fortuitous gossip of spirits and specters haunting the Isles of Umbra? Just because I know it's nonsense doesn't make it any less frightening. I was right in front of you. I didn't startle you. What the heck? I didn't, I didn't startle you. Just easily scareable, it seems. Probably if somebody said hello to you and then you freak out. Furk man. You're keen on traveling to the Isles of Umbra? Bloody ales, lad. Are you junk or just crazy? Ain't nothing there but death. Death and more death. Well, that will be my choice of wanting to go there. Hello? Why can I not go there? This might be me. Oh, why can I not jump? Why is there this invisible wall? Oh, now you let me. Invisible walls for the win. Elza Gamilza. The Isles of Umbra. What interest have you in the, that God's forsaken place? Ever since we were forced to abandon Pharaoh Sirius, the Isles have become not more than a graveyard for ships unable to navigate the shores, and a purgatory for the souls dragged down to the depths with them. So, ghosts and goblins are there. Okay. I'm gonna take him on. I have a big pointy stick. Ah, Hawks, you've returned. Tell me of your findings. Her, her, really? Infested with the undead, you say? That, that is a very, very interesting development. 
Excuse me for a moment while I gather my thoughts. No time to gather your thoughts, Gif. Representing the representative. Sienna seems to have regained her composure. That was quick. What? Well, 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 really not, my friend. I've given your findings some thought, and I've concluded that this talk of spirits is not more than local folklore. As for why all travels to the Isles of Umbra is restricted, well, mayhap, it's considered too dangerous owing to the abandonment of Pharaoh Sirius? Yes, well, anyway, while you were questioning those yellow ja jackets, I paid a visit to the local pub, since even an esteemed scholar like myself enjoys doling her wits on occasion. It was there that I heard tell of a man named Skyfern, who was recently detained after returning from, wait for it, the Isles of Umbra. This is the first I've heard of someone actually traveling to and from there. So I'm curious as to how he obtained permission. Mind having a chat with him in my steed? He was arrested, after all, so I'm somewhat reticent to approach him myself. If you want the information, go get it yourself! Jeez! Just say you're going for a visit or something. They can't say no to that. Now would you just let me jump? Thank you. I... I have to go back. She calls to me. Sings to me. Ugh. Tell him Mimi Dora, I'm sorry. Give him this. He was... He was right. Or... Or you could release me? Yes. Yes. Release me. I will go and tell her. Let me. Let me go to her. Okay, um... I don't know what's going on, but okay. Hey, it's calling us with the man of dark spirits. You, but, and I couldn't read that. Really read that. Jump, 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 jump. What did Skyfern have to say? Hmm, that's not ter terribly helpful. I couldn't care less how much he misses his favorite bar wrench. But what was that about a man named M Mimi Doa? Wait, I know that name. That's that bastard who grabbed my arse the other day at the pub. Well, if you want to give him that feather, be my guest. I'm not going anywhere near him and his wandering hands. Where is he? Oh, it's this way. This way. Another nishit. Are you? Are ye? No. Then what are ye? Then what are ye? Speak up, son. I can't hear ye. Eh? Bugger me, is this what I think it is? Nah, couldn't be. You found this, you say? What'd you say you found it? Skyfern, you say? Was hoping to have a word with the lad, but it sounds like there's a not-left-trickst 
his ears. He was supposed to help patch up Pharaoh. Ser serious, he was. Company sent me to su supervise a lot of them. One gen work done on their own. I, s on their own. See, half of them walked off, half of them ran off, and half of them up and vanished. What's that? Ye be looking for Pierce the Isles of Umbra? Why didn't you say so? I've been thinking of dispatching someone to take a look on behalf of old Mim Mi Mimi Doa. Tell him how the Tell him how the land lies. Ain't nobody been interested till you came a calling. Whole ports up in arms but spirits and so forth. If I had the gill, I'd hire some sales words and let them sort it out. But ye'll do in a pinch. Ye ye will. Show this parchment to the skipper and he'll see ye there and back. So you went and had a word with M Mimi Dora. I hope the valuable time you saw fit to waste amounted to something. You mean that disgusting creature was Skyfriend's superior? I find that hard to believe. But this wit of passage does appear to be genuine, so it must be true. I must say it is a relief to work with such an industrious man as you. I look forward to hearing of the discoveries you will make on the Isles of Umber without me. Really? Re the reluctant researcher. S Sienna has no desire to journey to the Isles of Umber. Wait, what? She's been trying to get there the entire time and the chance that she has to get there, she doesn't take it? What? Okay, fine. <sighs> fine, fine. I feel to see the just justification for dragging me along on your journey. But if you insist, I will go as well. Well, you wanted to go, you know. Jeez, and now you don't. But 12 as my witness, if you leave me, be me behind to be devoured by some horrid abomination, I, I shall come back to haunt you. I would like to see you try. I would like to see you try. Fairy Skipper. Ha! Take me to the Isles of Umbra, he bids, as if it's as simple as... Oh, I see you've got a writ, pa writ of passage. Alright then, climb aboard! Doing something in my table. Nah, I'm not. Oh, wait, there's someone over here. I don't see no zombies. Oh, look at that. I left her behind. Look at that. Means I'm doomed. The, the, this doesn't seem all that bad. I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer home here, but... Oh, the hell is with this. Here, take your pot and go on without me. 
you've harvested cooperative crosses before, right? So it isn't as though you require my assistance. Speak to the man regarding the gate. I'm sure he'll let you in. Now, if you would please excuse me. You're gonna dart off into the waters. I would not go to the waters, but okay. Beg your pardon, sir, but how did you come here? Access to this island is currently restricted. An old pot? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, I see. You wish to harvest a corrupted crystal. Sorry, friend, but you may have to return empty-handed. Sweet somethings. David has a simple pro proposal for you. The Ritz Master M Mimi Dor gave you, may grant you access to the island, but only authorized personnel may proceed past this point. Why, you ask? Look up and see for yourself. When that giant mass of crystal struck the lighthouse, it caused to severe damage to both the structure and the machinery within that once powered the beacon. Aye, contrary to what the small folk would have you believe the fires of Pharaoh Sirius were not the product of a major thaumaturgy or a colossal arcane bomb, but an elaborate contraption fueled by ethereal energy. Repairs are still ongoing, but it's anyone's guess when they will be complete. What's worse, all work has ceased since rumors of the Walking Dead drove off an entire crew. Hey, the Walking Dead. They must have been wa watching the a AMC show. Not that those rumors are, are incorrect. I've observed the fiends from a distance, at the ship graveyard to the south. What's drawn them to our shores is still a mystery, though. I'll make you a deal, Hawks. Help me unravel this mystery, and I'll bring you your corrupted crystal. In fact, I shall begin searching for one that satisfies your requirements. As for, as for where to begin your inquiries into this into the situation, it so happens that a party of three adventurers came ashore not long ago, seeking to scavenge valuable trinkets at the ship ship graveyard. I'd be surprised if they knew nothing of the undead infestation, so it might behoove you to question them. Fine, I'll go question these other. Travelers, adventurers, Aldwil, Irapi, Trapi, and Lewis. It's all there for the taken. Five billion years worth of wrecks and their cargo. But those blank dead things and that voice. Actually, the voice was quite nice. Frappy to Ruppy. You saw him too, right? Dead people just shambling about without a care in the world, except when they do seem to care, that is, and start shuffling towards the water. God, it's that voice, that single fleeting verse. I can still hear it. Stay clear of the southern shore, friend. It took every ounce of my strength to resist. So, what's happening here is, what do they call that enemy? I forgot what they call him, but it's supposed to s sing and then get, sh then pretty much blinds you. Makes you see things and such, and pretty much controls everything that you do. I forgot what they call it though. Hmm, this talk of an alluring voice is disturbingly familiar, as if... But that's impossible. They're all dead, aren't they? History repeating. Div David is sweating profusely. But if they have returned, that would mean... Oh, 
beg your pardon. I was just, um, thinking about something. Which reminds me, I received word that Master M Mimi Dora would be arriving any moment. Apparently, he grew tired of waiting for the lanky young lad with the thousand yarn stare to s return, which I am assuming is you. I don't know what sort of arrangement you had, but you should probably go in and explain yourself. I just got here, dang it! I just got here! Does this person not have the patience of a... Honestly, I don't know what to compare it to. What's been keeping you, initiates? I ain't getting any younger, you know. Eh? Some honey-voiced harlots been calling out to folk what, what wander near the ship graveyard? And it stirred up the dead and all? Bloody hells. This takes me back to me days as a cannon boy sailing under old mist beard. But they wouldn't dare, would they? Not after the lesson we learned them last time? Bah! They bloody would, though. Wouldn't they brazen all biddies? <sighs> Some folks said as the first purge would be the last, but I knew, knew deep down in my bones, as this day would come, and come it has. I, I'd bet me bum ear a siren's behind all this. That's it, a siren. Nigh, not one of the sanguine variety, initiate. I speak all the other kind. Them what's got feathers and lure sailors to a watery grave with a sweet, sweet song. Oh, but don't end there. No, drowning's just a start. See, even in death. A man stays bound to the beast, forced to do her bidding, bidding, till his corpse can't do it no more. Tis a fate I wouldn't wish on me worst enemy, except maybe in drink, and I'd regret it after. Anyway, tis up to us to stop this hell's born hussy afore she takes another soul. You, by us, you mean me, right? Of course, we can't send ye marching off to war without these. The siren don't have no power over a man as can't hear her song. Tis lucky for you, I carry a spare pair. And lucky for the both of us, I am a superstitious old sod, eh? Well, she ain't coming to us, so we'd best head over, over to her. To the ship graveyard, initiate. But this person, this Mimi Yo or oh, uh, person, doesn't have a, any patience whatsoever. I just got here and the person expected me to find and take care of whatever almost immediately. Like, that's not very fair. Now, is it? That's not very really fair at all. Oh, Siren! Oh, where are you, Siren? I have a present for you. If she passes, passes near the shore, she's sure to spy the campfire and come looking. Just a matter of waiting now. Oh, let's go to the campfire and tell campfire stories. Judy calls commerce battle for history repeating. Yes. Yawn. <sighs> I'm beginning to wonder if some sly bugger ain't spun us a yarn. Here. <laughs> Sleeping. 
quiet. Do you hear that? Tis her. Look, out of the water. She's come, Nishit. She's come. What type of siren is this? Quick lad, shove them plugs in your ears and get ready for a fight. Soon as she realizes you're deaf to her de- Deities? She'll call on her thralls and we'll be up to our necks and corpses before you know it. Hither embrace mine everything all. True love spurned his cruelty's reward. Make it over here. Wait, can I? Wait, can I go up to her? No, I can't. I can't get to her. Spare mournful mistress distress. Why? So what, I'm supposed to keep on finding these things and that's what's the feeder? <laughs> Melody, last breath of death, the rhythm. I can't sing. Dost thou not to relent regret forever alone? It appears how much of a beater. My love forever. One luck, so shiver. Why am I why am I aiming at him? Am I supposed to beat these things? No more cl dark cups of the heart. Wait, what? I'm confused. I am. Okay, I was. Okay. Says if it says so. Eh? Am I all right? Ha! I'm better than that initiate. Happy as a sailor, and I whoop. Am I saying that word? I am. Of course, I'd be happy as a sailor with two... Something sits. If we got the songstress. But she can't have everything, can ye? She'll not come crooning around here again. Though not for a while. Any road. 
And if she does, well, we know what to do, don't we? Nope. Thanks for the help, uh, bugger me. I clean forgot your name. Your name. Remind me, Hawks? Don't recall having no initiate by that name. But if you, you're not me old mate, er, uh, was name, why you been so bloody helpful? Ah, never mind. Be seeing you, lad. Yay! I don't know how, what I did or anything, but I'll take it. But why would she not come back? It's not like I really attacked her or anything. I just attacked her minions. <laughs> That's it. You mean it was a siren? But how were you able to resist a song? I see. I had heard that Master Mimi Dor was involved in the first purge, but I never actually... Hmm. Having survived an ordeal like that, I can't blame him for carrying earplugs around with him. Anyway, I have something for you. The corrupted crystal you wanted, safely sealed within the pot, just as you requested. Please take it with my compliments. And hello, Mobius. How are you doing? How are you doing? It's, it's so wonderful to see you. Yeah, today is the F Final Fantasy XIV day. Getting through these quests to get to the Heaven's Ward. You're fine, myself. I am doing absolutely great. I slept for at least 15 hours yesterday, and I'm all rejuvenated today. I w I didn't stream on Sunday like I was supposed to because I was playing um, Dead by Daylight with a friend that I never got to play with before, so it was fantastic doing that. And yesterday I just wanted the day off. Yeah, yeesh, you haven't even touched a game since we played. <laughs> oh really? Oh, it's you. Welcome back, Hawks. You're looking remarkably hale. I, I must say, and more importantly, alive. You are alive, aren't you? No, I'm dead. And, and I came to haunt you instead, Sienna, for, um, you know, ditching, ditching us like that. Aha, the conquering hero returns, bearing a gift. Might I have a closer look? Impressive. Very impressive, indeed. Yes, I think you'll be quite pleased with this specimen. Congratulations, Hawks. Seldom, if ever, have I encountered a corrupted crystal composed of such a volatile overabundance of fire-aspected aether. What? You wanted a corrupted crystal composed of ice aspected aether to counteract the effects of a raging wind? Ah, uh, ha ha ha. Well, this specimen won't help you there. Anyone who knows anything about the elements could tell you that. You just have to keep looking, I suppose. What the heck? What the heck? Been too addicted to. Dyson Sphere program? I don't even know what that is. What is that game? The Curious Case of Giggity. Okay, so, um... Whoever made this game watched Too Much Family Guy. Giggity, giggity. Sienna knows where the corrupted crystal that you seek can be found. Don't fret now. 
I know exactly where to find a corrupted crystal comprised of ice aspected aether. An associate of mine in Gridania has been studying the effects of one such crystal on living beings. Eh? What's with that expression? I thought you would be pleased to hear this news. This is not another wild dodo chase, I assure you. And what's even better is that this time you mean use that warded part of yours to protect yourself from this crystal's energies. Hinn's findings suggest that it is quite safe. Why, you ask? Well, let's just say that it has undergone a unique process what ha that has rendered such precautions unnecessary. Anyway, do not let me keep you. It has been a pleasure, Hawks. Come back and see you some sometime, alright? It's a factory's... It's like Factorio or Satisfactory. Never heard of either of those two games. I have not heard of either of those two. Sorry to say. Is it like a tycoon game where you build stuff or what? A builder game where eventually you try to get almost every every made and completed automatically. Oh, I see. That's like one of those crap. It's very, um, it's very common on mobile devices. I forgot what they called it, um, auto tut no, auto collecting games? I don't, I don't know what they called anymore. Using conveyor belts and shoulders and such. Ah, okay. But yeah, I've been playing this game at least once a week. It's been going great. Not exactly. You do have to put the work in for the automation. Ah, gotcha. Greetings and salutations, Mr. Corner. I presume? Sienna informed me of your adventures in Aleport. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding, though as Professor Lambertiant is fond of saying, no action taken in the name of science is ever truly wasteful. To the matter at hand, corrupted crystals possessing the properties you seek could be found in abundance at the standing courses follow following the calamity. Alas, that is no longer the case. And while there is at least one suitable crystal that remains to be found within the Twelve's Ward, precisely where it is at any given moment is more difficult to say. These crystals take an eternity to digest, assuming they can even be digested, and I'm reasonably, reasonably confident that one still resides within his gut. It's quite fascinating, really. My theory is that this giggity First consumed a corrupted crystal when <sighs> you couldn't care less about all this, could you? To the point then, Giggity seldom makes his presence felt unless there is particularly fine fodder to be had. Therefore, we shall require a lure, and I have precisely the source he will find impossible impossible to resist. Simply place this true heart. I shall save the story of the origin of its unusual name for another occasion. Outside of the Spriggan's lair and wait for the opportune moment to pounce. As for the method by which you retrieve the crystal from his gut, I shall leave that to your discretion. And since you entered the, the chat, uh, the stream, I shall give you a real spin.
Come on, get up there. Spin wheel. Yeah, unlike those games where you try to make increasingly ludicrous amounts of whatever currency the game has for upgrade and such. And sit still for 10 minutes. Which means... I cannot move again until 11.51. Let's see if I can get myself in a perfect angle so I can, you know, reach chat and play without moving. There we go. So it's still great. Yay. Lovely. I hate sitting still because I love to move. Where are you? The meadows. So, what have you been up to, Mobius? DSP and its sisters are theoretically endless, but there's usually one big goal that you chase after. DSP, what? Are you still talking about that, um. I think you're talking about that, uh. Dyson Sphere program? Wrong way. In DSP's case, it's creating at least one Dyson Sphere. Ah. Gotcha. Is this a mobile game? May I ask? No PC, oh. And it's fr freaking beautiful. Well, that's wonderful to hear that. Use a true heart to lure out the crystal bearer. So it's down here. Oof. Whoa. Well, when you look at the sky box, at least. Hmm. The true heart. You sense a hostile presence. Of course I do. A Furby. Use a true heart to lure out the crescent bearer. Wait, that's it. Oh, that was quick. Yes. Especially when you start building the Dyson Swarm. Hmm. Six minutes ago. And you look up and you can see the sails 
for EM railguns fires into space traveling. Oh, gotcha. Also, did you know? I don't. I don't know if you heard heard this, Mobius. But um, Squ Square Enix is finally changing the housing system in this game. In the Endwalker update. Ah! Pray do not sneak up on me like that. I was engrossed in. Wait, what is that? What is that god's awful smell? The crystal. My word, that is a breathtakingly beautiful crystal. I see my supposition was not mistaken. Ugh, and I also see you weren't averse to digging through spriggan entrails for your prize. We owe our furry friend a debt of gratitude. You know, this thick coating of digestive juices is protecting us from the harmful effect of, of the crystal, just as the watered pot you once used did. Why so glum, friend? You finally obtained the corrupted crystal you sought. One overflowing with earth aspected aether. Calm down, I jest, I jest. It is comprised of ice aspected aether, very not. I suppose that joke was in poor taste, considering your previous two attempts were for not. No matter if you're on the planet, they are coming from a different planet or flying between them. Ah, gotcha. Is my mic muted? I don't think it. I don't think it should. Is it? Better late than never. Um, is my mic muted? Just making sure because that happens a lot. Hayden has neglected to return to you your corrupted crystal. Beg your pardon, Hux. I forgot to return your crystal to you. Oh, and there was a message for you from Professor Lambrunian. Something about a man named Marcuse. Apparently the professor misses the intellectual simulation. Forgive me. I should have written it down. It occurs to me that I have yet to ask why you needed that crystal. You aren't planning anything nefarious, are you? Which would reflect poorly on me and my research if it was used for evil ends. Ah, well, perhaps it's best I remain ignorant. I didn't become the professor's greatest pupil by filling my head with unnecessary information. Why is everyone of his pupils the same and the greatest? Two more minutes. Is my mic muted, Mobius? Because I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not muted. Okay. Whew. I thought I was for a second. Because that happens to me a lot. Like, a lot. Oh, no, no, no problems. No problems. I was just worried that I have my mic muted and I cannot move for the next minute or so because of the wheel there. So I couldn't check. <laughs> no problem. No problemo. Wait, what the? Why? Why is the person laying down right there?
to deliver it to Sid. One more minute. Gonna be a primal in Endwalker. How? What do you mean? Greetings, sir. Do you wish to proceed to your vessel? Yes. Wait, is there an actual primal that goes by the name of Anima? That would be, be quite. Quite funny. All repairs and modifications have been completed, Hawks. Once you bring me that crystal, nothing will stand between us and Gruda. And it's. I can move now. I'll need to run some tests to be sure, but this looks to be exactly what we need. Worry not, Hawks. I'll see that your hard work doesn't go to waste. The Enterprise is already more than a common airship, but mark my words, soon it will become something greater, something extraordinary. This, this is me. This is what I was born to do. The screen cap looks like it's anima in all her creepy undead glory. <laughs> but yet, yeah, did you hear, Mobius, that they are changing the housing system? In Endwalker? That they're finally updating it? Lady of the Vortex. With Sid's modifications now installed, the Enterprise is finally ready to make the journey to the Howling Eye. According to my tests, the device is now functioning in perfect harmony, harmony with the crystal, meaning we can leave wherever you're ready. But you must understand, tests can only tell one so much. Until we approach the Howling Eye, until we attempt to breach the barrier itself, I cannot be sure th that this will work. I think it will it only fair to tell you that there is a small but statistically significant chance that the crystal could trigger a massive... Hmm. Mayhap it is better that we remain positive. Hawks, I want to thank you for re reuniting me with my ship, for trusting in me to develop this plan. For everything, you helped me to rediscover a part of myself I've forgotten. I am not the man I once was, and I do not know if I ever shall be. But I do know one thing, this feels right. My apologies for the sudden outpouring of sentiment. I would have waited until after the mission, but well, you understand. All you heard was that Ishgard would have a housing area. <sighs> yeah. There. She's ready. Ah, she stirs. To Curthus, and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Enterprise, engage. They had this.
damn it. Uh, I, I once flew in this airship, and I was not alone. There were adventurers on board. Adventurers like you. Just how long have I worn these damn goggles? Uh, yes, I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. The young prodigy, admired by all, exactly like his father. Born and raised in Garlemald. It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter? You abandoned us all, but he was there for me, father. There for me when you were not. Though he proved no better in the end. Gaius was just another man with an all-consuming obsession. And so I ran, left the Empire behind, and came to Eorzea, where I built the ironworks. Yes, it was then that I first donned these goggles. Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People worth saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home.
I had forgotten how wonderful it was. The wind in your hair, the endless sky. That light. It was you, wasn't it? It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure-blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. The Enterprise was made for this, to carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphenord, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. I remember everything. My name, my people, and my purpose. Everything. Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting. That was quite a lengthy, lengthy cutscene, but wow. And how did I give him that, those goggles? <laughs> but okay, the game says so. But, but yeah, are you still the uh, Mobius? I'll just go to this one. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. All our efforts, all our tra travels, all that was for this. Make ready, Hawks, for the end is nigh. Be it hers or our own. Catching up, yeah, catching up. But yeah, what what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be doing a lot. They're gonna add like a lottery sis type of system. Where you forward the money for a plot of land, and at any time of, timing of intervals, it would choose a random person to get a plot of land. So you no longer have to camp a um, plot of land anymore. You don't have to spend like 12 hours and then failing. You just go to it, give out. You pay the money for the, a pot, plot of land, and it chooses a random person when, when land opens up. So no more camping there, waiting for it to open. You could just pay it and go to sleep. And then hope that someday you, you get chosen. And honestly, that is a better system. To be quite honest, it's a lot healthier. Because having people stay up for like 24, 12, 36 hours straight, and people do this too. Trying to buy a, land, a plot of land. is unhealthy to the highest degree and it's always going to be one person out of them them all get it anyways so it, pretty much it was RNG from the start 
and also they are considering um separating free company um housing to the regular residential housing too to make extra room for how extra houses With the aid of the Enterprise and its legendary captain, Sid Garland, you have broken through the swirling winds that shield the howling eye. Yet the challenges you have sum surmounted pale in comparisons to the one that awaits you beyond the gates. At long last, the end is nigh. Be it Gruda's or your own. Who knows? This is not good. I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> Sorry you didn't catch any of that. Okay, what they are doing about the housing situation is that it's going to be a lottery based type of, type of thing where you pay the for the, lo the plot of land in, in advance like it literally takes it out of your um your gill immediately and then it chooses random people to get that plot of land so you don't have to wait there for 12 hours 24 36 and then fail to get it anyways you can just pay it go to sleep and that's it Which is healthier to not make people, you know, spend long hours just standing one spot trying to buy a single plot of land. It's unhealthy. That's unha unhealthy. Very unhealthy. It's not a permanent fix, but it's something. And also, they are, consi they are considering moving, the, not moving, separating free company housing to res residential housing. So that they're separate. So that all in one specific land is it all going to be residential housing only no free company um housing super quiet i'm how can i be super quiet that's so weird because when I talk, it's at least louder than the game right now. I can go into my own live stream and see if it's just... If it... Oh, that's nice. So you can hear me now? So you can hear me now, or what? Because I shouldn't be that quiet. I never mess with it. It might be you. Like, did you... Hmm. Did you ever silence the, um... Like, lower the volume of the Twitch player? Cause that could be it. Cause if you lower the Twitch player's volume, I'm gonna sound low. 
But hold on, I will. How about this? I will watch my own stream and see if. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm. Maybe this would help. How about this? How about this? Can you hear me clearly? Better? How about that way? This is quite loud for this mic. That so sounds the same though. Hmm. How about now? Because I could still have this thing go louder, but I don't want it to go too high because, well, there could be feedback. Come on, find somebody. Okay, that's this is way better. Okay. That's the best I can do it then. Okay, so you heard about the, you only caught the bit about FC housing being separated. After this match, I'll explain it again, okay? Because this is probably going to need all my attention. Who dares intrude upon my sanctuary? You, your insolence shall not go unpunished. Land walkers. 
12 preserves she's she's huge as I live and breathe over there look A Moldier and Kabold prisoners. But why would the Exor bring them here? He he ha 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 he 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 ha ha he. Wherefore come you hither, foolish mortals? Gruda, we are come to put an end to your reign of terror. Hear you this blasphemy, my children. These land walkers would bring me low. You who are bound to crawl upon the earth should revere me, for I am the wind. Did we not take to the skies and slip your defenses? We are bound by nothing, Garuda. You think your playthings give you strength? They will not help you here, Landwalker. This is my realm, where none can challenge my supremacy. Struggle though you may, I shall slake the roots with your blood and feast on the canopy with your entrails. Ha ha ha. Squawk, slay the unfeathered ones. We shall, as an offering to Gruda, they will serve. Leave the Ixel to us, Hawks. We will keep them distracted while you deal with her. Do not fail, Hawks. Remember, you fight for the Skyons, for Erosia. Oh no. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> this whom would die by mine own hand. Come, then, I shall grant you that which you seek. Oh no. I'm gonna die. Cause I don't know how to beat her. Ooh, this is gonna be nasty. I don't like this. Oh, you're supposed to be behind these rocks. I did not know that. Come on, come on, come on. Soon you will see the death. Jesus, behind a rock. There's no escape, no, no hope, none.
My power, no! 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 What? How in the hells? Ha ha ha! This is my realm! You have no hope here! None! None! Did you truly believe you could defy a god, Landwalkers? Can you still hear me, Mobius? I hope. My power is limitless. My children, Legion. And they have rendered unto me a wealth of crystals. The gifts sustain me. The faith empowers me. None save my children will none save my children will escape the reckoning mortals. And those who would use my crystals to waken the rest shall realize the folly of their faith. Then all shall worship none but me, the one true God. He. <laughs> Of course, worship. So long as the Exo keep praying, she will never fall. Then let's stop them. Ah! Ha 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 he. No harm will come to my, to you, my children. There is this is only the beginning, Landwalkers. All who oppose me shall suffer for their defiance. Soon, the worms of the forest shall receive my judgment. The desert vermin next. Their walls of stone will not shield them from the, from the tempest. And then will I take vengeance on the sea lice. Their one boats cannot outrun the wind. Tremble, mortals, for I shall visit you all in time, and all shall be mine. All mine. You landwalker, you who dare to raise your hand against me, you shall be the first to pay for your sins, not with your death, but with your life. You will serve me, landwalker, to your last breath. No! No! I claimed you! You should be mine! Whew! Long cutscene. I thought there was going to be a part two to this. And they will all be waiting on me. But they all probably left and I can't give anyone an accommodation because they all probably left. <laughs> oh man. This is the last crystal, I think. If I remember it. Yep, the last crystal. I have the Chaos Emeralds. I am the most powerful. I'm going s super. I don't know. Saying, what? What are you? What have you done to me? No mortal should possess such power. This, this is impossible. Is there actually a part to this? No, okay, good. Oh, goodness. I knew it. Everyone would leave. I can't, I can't even, I couldn't even give anyone a, um, a, uh, accommodation because of those, this cutscene was just so, so long. They're like, holy crap. 
Yeah, it's done. tremble at my might why do you not beg for mercy why do you not die we've done it ah, impossible it is kill you all is that all oh lady of the vortex oh mighty garuda of all primals, the most terrible, I say again, is that all? Gaius. Ah, Sid, my boy, you look well. For one who has forsaken kin and country, I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... Well, I shall accomplish far more. I shall make you suffer! That foul stench! I see now. She has touched you! Very well. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? God Almighty, bring brought us succor in our hour of need. Save us, Titan, Lord of Crags. Ah, it hurts us so. The pain, the pain. What is she? Twelve preserve. She cannot mean to. No. No, this is all wrong. Stop gawping, boy. We must run. Surrender yourselves unto me. I would feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind. to the glory of the Empire!
is you who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alec had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair. Magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. Twelve, have mercy. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion and Supreme Commander of the Garlean Invasion Force in Eorzea. Of course, the Black Wolf. How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts. But that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, guys! Where in the Seven Hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments. But the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the Primals to one side. For the time being, at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. It must be destroyed. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. That was certainly something. Whew. Well, that was an experience I would rather not have again. Something has been troubling me, Hawks. Shortly before the Black Wolf took center stage, when Gruda attempted to claim you as her own, I could have sworn I saw... Ah, but I'm sure I was mistaken. In times of great stress, the evidence of the eye is apt to be misread by even the most inquiring mind. Forget I mentioned it. Returning to the subject of our earlier discussion, we may consider the matter of the primals closed. 
until further notice. No beast tribe will dare summon their god so long as that weapon exists. Truly a more effective deterrent I could not imagine. It almost seems a shame to plot its destruction. Hmm. Jeez. That was certainly something, wasn't it? Anyways. If you are still here, Mobius, I will explain what, what I said earlier. Since supposedly my mic was too low, which could have been my problem, I don't know. But if you want to hear it again, just say so. I'm just going to make sure that you, you're in chat when I describe it, like, again, to make sure. Aphanad is ready to return to the Waking Sands. Reclamation. It is past time that we return to the Waking Sands. To leave our headquarters in disrepair any longer would be to dishonor the memory of those who fell there. We have been brought to our knees, but we will rest, rebuild, and rise once more. Fine, I'll go there. My mounts. Oh, looks like Mobius is on. Trying to catch up to me again. Wait, did, did I just... Wow, 54? Wow, he significantly caught up on the level department. Only being two levels behind me. How dare he? This is a this is a race to level whatever max is it, it is right now. Seventy, I think. Yes. Tell me, Hawks, does art here strike you as odd? I see signs of recent habitation. Could it be that we have trespassers? Hmm, mayhap it is m just my imagination. Come, let us proceed into the solar. Oh man. Oh, come on. Wait. Who goes there? Now, now, Yida. Is there any way to greet a friend? Alphanad! Hawks! Sid? Wait, is this a dream? Not that I'm aware of. It's been a while, Yida. I... 
I don't believe it. I was sure you'd been... This place has seen better days. Uh, you know, I wasn't actually here when... I... I was still in talks at the Adder's Nest. The first I knew about it was when I came back and... And I saw... Yida. The church had taken care of the bodies, but that still left... The stains. It was hard to know where to start. If your stroller hadn't been here to help me. Your stroller is here too? Yes. But she's not here right now. She's gone to Ulda to meet a man who might know what happened to the others. Pepperlimo and Minfilia weren't among the dead, according to the church. Your stroller thinks they were taken somewhere. Upon the orders of the Black Wolf, no doubt. Why would he want them? Because they possess something he desires. Knowledge of another power that can be brought to bear against the primals. One that Ga Gaius, Gaius has yet to harness. The Echo. Gaius will be aware of of its existence, as well as immunity it grants, the gifted to the primal's influence. Powerful, no powerful though his elegant weapon may be, he would doubtless desire such protection. He means to use Minfilia to gain an understanding of the Echo. So I was in the Stone Vigil dungeon. Ah. Hold on. None of which explains how the Empire came to know the location of the Waking Sands in the first place. No matter, the Empire has shown its hand, and now we must act. It is up to us to rebuild the Skyons and save Erosia. Can I count on you, Yida? What? Oh yes! Yes, of course! Whatever you need! We can discuss our next move upon Nishtola's return. For now, I say we rest. All right. After, okay. Here, feel. Bringer of light. Brave gatherer of the crystals, thy soul burneth bright. I am Hydanen, all made one. Hearken unto me now, for the darkness doth begin to spread. Wear thee the bearer of the crimson brand, for he is the avatar of shadow, whom death attendeth always. The crystals shall be thy salvation, thy blade and shield both. Steal thyself, for at the appointed hour thou shalt stare into the heart of darkness. Go with caution, my child, but fear not, for I am ever with thee.
You stole her. Hawks, I see you and Alfred are safe. And, and Sid. That we five should meet each other thus to find simple explanation. It is as if the be benevolent hand of Master Luiso Lu guides us still. He would not see us undone so easily. Not now, when the need is so great. I know where Menphilia and the others are being held. Where? An imperial stronghold in the heart of Mor Dahona, Castrum Century. Finally! <laughs> Jeez! Okay. I will explain it again. Uh, but um, in the Endwalker updates, when it releases, the change to the housing will be done through lottery. Like a lottery system. Where you pay for a plot of land in advance and it takes all the guild that you have and it randomly chooses anyone that paid up front to get that plot of land. So no more camping needed. Like no more going to a land and staying there for 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours trying to get a plot of land. So now all you have to do is pay for a plot of land and you'll randomly get chosen to get it which pretty much what people were doing was a was that you know the RNG anyways of getting it after like 12 hours just sitting there doing just clicking clicking to buy it but now you just pay in advance and it randomly chooses who gets that plot of land so you can just pay it and then go to sleep like, pay it, exit the game, turn off your system, sleep, and you can come back onto the game later to see if you were ever, you know, chosen. Which is not a... Yes, it's simultaneously cool and concerning. It's not a total fix... It's not a total fix in the slightest, but it's moving in the right direction. Because how it is now, it's unhealthy. People, I have seen people say that they have camped a plot of land for 48 hours and still failed to get it. So it means they stayed up for 48 hours for nothing and they... And they that, that affected the health. Big time. Staying up for two days. Just to not get up the land that you stayed up for. So this at least would help that people don't have to stay up anymore. So that they just like, hey, I want to buy this plot, plot of land. So put it, put a bid in pretty much. Exit the game and go to sleep to keep your health up. So it helps with with that aspect. They still need to do a lot more stuff with the housing. But I think this would help with it all. And with the whole free company and residential housing going to be sp split. Which would help as well. To be honest, that so I think they are doing stuff in the in the right direction with the housing situation. 
they're going in the right direction. That's all I'm gonna I have to say about that. It's a start. Casing the Castrum. Yustula wishes to discuss the fate of the prisoners being held at Castrum Century. The rescue of our allies will be no small undertaking, Hawks. Even under normal circumstances, breaching the defenses of an Imperial Castrum would be a highly dangerous proposition. But now that Castrum Sentry houses prisoners whom the Gorleans seem valuable, we may be confident that they have taken additional measures to ensure the stronghold's security. If we are to free our friends, we will require an effective strategy. And if we are to formulate an effective strategy, we will require intelligence. I believe I know a man who may be able to assist us in this. Lord Pauline of House Durandere, he is stationed at the Observatorium in Corthus. Let us go to him and beseech his aid. So what is your thoughts on that, Mobius? Do you think they are moving in, a, in the right direction to help with the housing situation? Like, I do expect a lot more out of it, but this is a good, you don't know yet, we will see. Yeah, we will see what would happen. But it at least would show that they are trying to fix the situation and trying to help the health of their players. Because I think even you know. Mobius staying up for 48 hours is unhealthy. But that's just, you know, my opinion on the matter. Because they could have been ignoring this whole thing. Like this whole si housing situation, they could have completely ignored it if they, they wanted to. Yeah, we shall see in November when they release it. Enough time for me to get to the end. Hopefully to Shadowbringers. Hopefully. Um. And be at Endwalker's thing. And have the money. Because <laughs> I only have like 300, almost $300,000 in skill again. Hello, poor lion. Ah, Hawks, the man who unmasked the heretic in our midst. To what do I owe the pleasure of your company? You are an associate of Yustrola? But of course, Lord Drillamount confided to me that, that you were a Skyrunner of the Seventh Dawn. Castrum Sentry? What interest have you all in the Imperials? They hold several of our number whom we intend to free. Any information you can provide would be greatly appreciated. Do you... Do they mean they hold several of our members? Not number? I don't know. 
I see. That might explain our scouts' reports. They observed four prisoners being led into the castrum. A Hyrun Hyru Hyrun woman an, an Elysian man and two Lalafels. One male, one female. It's them. It has to be. Minfilia, you you in Uringer, Papalimo, and Tataru. If that scant morsel is of use to you, you may also be interested to hear about a more recent incident. Incident? An Imperial airship made an emergency landing here in Corthus not long ago. Two men believed to be prisoners, a Roganant, Rogaiden, and a Lalafell were seen fleeing the, the craft. What did you say? A Rogan, Rogan, and a, and a Lalafell, Master Gorland. Neither wore Imperial dress, and both seemed dis disinclined to wait for rescue, hence our assumption that they were prisoners. Well, I'll be damned. It's Biggs and Reg. Trust those two rascals to escape. We must find them, Hawks, and soon. The Imperials will not rest until they are captured or killed. And if Biggs were given the choice, I fear he'd taken the latter. Freeing those held in Castrum Sentry will require substantial planning and preparation. As such, it is an endeavor that will admit some slight delay. The matter of the escapees, by contrast, will not. Shortly after the, after the prisoners vacated the airship, our scouts observed Imperial's troops setting off in pursuit. It is likely only a matter of time before they catch them. If you wish to see your comrades again, you had best act now. If, as has been suggested, should, suggested the Galileans took our fellow Skyons prisoner in hopes of understanding the Echo, it seems reasonable to assume that they will not be executed until at such time as the study is complete. But Biggs and Wedge are not Skyons, nor do they know arts of the Echo. As Lord Pauline said, this may prove our only chance to rescue them. I say we seize it. Thank you, everyone. You won't regret this. But we just saw them earlier. How did they get captured in the first place? Like, they, we found them earlier. Earlier. And saved them. Let me at them. Let me at them. I'll kick your ace. Final preparations are almost complete, my lord. This stands the culmination of five year long years of painstaking work, but all our efforts will be vindicated when, emper when the Emperor's vision becomes reality. At last, we have the power to purge this land of its false gods. We shall give the ignorant children of Eurosia the security and stability they so de desperately crave, in which the spineless leaders have so palpably failed to provide. As you say, my lord, rest assured, our engineers will not rest until the weapon is fully armed and operational. But Tatan, you depart for Kashem Occidens at midnight. You will command the Western Front and Firebrand. The Erosians will attempt to interfere with our plans. You will see that they do not. My lord, if this is if this be your will, I shall carry it out to the best of my ability. I live only to serve the Empire. Yet, forgive my imprudence, but is it proper to give command of half our forces to A? I have given you nothing, Perfectus. 
You have earned it. That will be all. Dismissed. Yes, my lord. My quarters, one hour. Okay, eyes on the Empire. Lord Pauline would like to aid in your search for Biggs and Reg. My purpose here is to reconnoiter Galean activity along Abalathea's spine. Owing to this, I have the honor of being acquainted with Yeshua. Now, the report of the Imperial airship's emergency landing came to us by way of the male, male dog hold situated to the west. A man stationed at the entrance, a knight named Perselt, may be able to tell you more. So, as to expedite your mission, I shall furnish you with a letter of introduction. I pray that you will soon be reunited with your comrades. May the fury grant you strength. So what mission are you on now? Um Mobius That's right there anyway, so I'm not gonna waste my time with the mount. The quest after Stone Vigil. So what did you what did you think of Stone Vigil? Was reading up on Garuda. Nice. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, that. Whew. Long amount of text. You stand before Zamil. Darkhold, the subterranean fortress ex excavated by the great Ishgardian house of the same name. None but authorized personnel may, may enter. Kinda scared. Oh, oh, you're about to go fight Garuda? Oh, no. A letter from Lord Pauline? So you have come about the Imperial airship. And hello, Micro. How are you doing, my friend? According to our scouts, the vessel had scarce touched the ground when a pair of men, captives, by all accounts, burst forth and bolted. Imperial soldiers have since been sighted in the area, seeking to recapture them. What? The captives are like to be your friends, you say? Then let us pray that they are yet a step ahead of the pursuers. The emergency landing reportedly took place near the uh, Aram Vale, situated south and west of here. I suggest you take your search there. Seek out a knight named Pyramons. He should be able to assist you. Good things and yourself. I'm doing great. Having a blast playing some Final Fantasy 14, Sitting back and relaxing and such. So, yeah, that's that. Getting closer and closer to one of the DLC game, the DLC to this game. Finally. Taking me a long while, but I'm getting there. Getting on my dead kitty. But, oh, also, since you arrived in the, um... The stream, I have to, you know, sp spin, spin that wheel, spin Rooney. Where, how much did I complete, by the way? 
so far I beat one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Wow, I completed twenty three quests, which means. One twenty one minus twenty three. I have 98 quests to Heaven's Ward. Hallelujah. Anyways. Oh, that one. Yeah, trick. Pretty much what Trigger Fire is, is something of. Well, you could trigger something with commands through web browsers. Which I can do, since I don't have to have another thing, another thing running for that. So do you have any type of sound, like, I don't know, a quote from a movie, a game, that I can look up and make as, as a sound command? Micro? Or do, should I re, re, um, re spin the wheels if you don't know any type of sounds? I'll let you I'll let you think on that and I'll continue with my trek to wherever I'm going. It could be anything. Just not music, of course. The Imperial Airship. The Imperial Airship? I I saw it approach to land with mine own two eyes. I hastened to the landing sites, arriving just in time to see the vessel take to the skies again, but not before it had deployed a detachment of troops. Gruff orders were being barked, and there was an air of consternation about them. Make that 24 quest beat. Footprints in the snow. Sir Piermons wants to share with you what he knows of the two fugitives. There were two prisoners aboard the airship, it seems, and they seized the opportunity to flee when the vessel was forced to land. The Garleans, who were deployed, formed search parties and proceeded to scour the wilderness. In order to alert our forces, I returned to my post to find evidence that someone had been here in my absence. Wherever they were, they tried the door to no avail and decided to go elsewhere. In all, I marked two sets of footprints, one large and one small. If you search the area, mayhap you will be able to follow the prints to their owners. And so shall the, um, the enemies. Surveying. Really, it takes us long. Gentlemen, I wash my hands of this weirdness. Paris of the Caribbean World's End. Okay, I have to write this down because...
You know what? I can search it on my phone. On YouTube and just put in my, um, my, uh, history. <laughs> I wash my hands of this weirdness. <laughs> Love it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, the suggestion. Hold on. There we go. It's in my search history, and I will deal with that after stream. And perfect one to choose. Love it. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. Cool. And what would the command be? Or do you want it to be a channel points redemption? You can make it a channel points or a command. It wouldn't matter which one. You don't mind, dude. So either one. So I just randomly choose. Whatever is easier for you. I, I won't know what's easier for me. Are they here? They're here, aren't they? No. Oh, they asked for prints. A lot of surveying. So have you relaxed, Micro, after the whole 10 hour stream on the spot? <laughs> now you did what I do, all the time. <laughs> Long streams without even trying. <laughs> Yes, you have. <laughs> the game is just that that damn good that you just forget time even existed. It was an amazing trip. It absolutely was. I absolutely loved it. This badge. Brr. So c c cold. I w w want to go home. Hi again. Rah! But please don't eat me. I'm not nearly as succulent as I look. It's all skin and bones underneath. I swear. Hawks, it's you. Thank goodness you're here. It's been, it's been awful. The Gorleans were snapping at our heels like a hungry pack of wolves. I was so hills bent on invading them. I almost ran headlong into a monster's Gapping Mall thrice and when I finally found cover it hit me how cold and hungry I was B Biggs he he isn't here. He went off in a different direction to lure our pursuers away It's me sit have you had any success? Track down Reg that's wonderful news. Now what of Biggs? I see. 
Well, it hardly surprises me that the big fellow went off as he did. For all the tongue lashings he gives Reg, he's always taking care of him. I've scoured the area surrounding the dark hold, but have nothing to show for it. At any rate, we know for a fact that Big's headed west, with both Yida and Yastola helping out. I'm sure he'll turn up soon. Now then, I'll make m my way over to your position while keeping an eye out for Biggs. If memory serves, there should be an Ishgardian fortification not far to our your west. Monument Tower, I believe it's called. Let us meet there. Dare I hope? Was it Messer Goland you spoke with? After five long years, thank goodness he's alive. I'm feeling better now. Hawks, let's go to Monument Tower and wait for the chief to arrive. But yeah, that was an amazing stream of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And it was very fun to watch the entire 10 hours. <laughs> Making me jealous the entire time as well. How could you, Micro? How could you make me that jealous? <laughs> damn, Ratchet and Clank is such a damn good game. Sh and damn shame I don't have a PS5 for it. You were wel always welcome, dude. dude. It almost felt like I was playing the game. Watching ya. If you know what I mean. Haha. <laughs> Well met and well and welcome, adventurer. What brings you to this frozen corner of the realm? Oh, it, it would seem your companion has caught a chill. Come and warm yourself by the fire. I will bring you a hot broth. How are we feeling now then? Stay here as long as you need. The same goes for you, friend. Tis plain you have a hard journey ahead of you. You must find rest when you can. How did you like the no cam stream? The De depressing. I liked seeing your your face. Your beautiful face. It was depressing not to see it. <laughs> Uh, but I liked it. <laughs> I'm. I just. I just. By the way, micro. I just. Of course. Yes, I just. But I liked it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Monumental hopes. Wedge is gravely concerned for his missing companion. I'm fine now. Thank you. Thank, thanks to you. But I can't bear to think that Biggs is still all alone in the cold, with Godlians on his heels. He lured the enemy away, away for my sake, and now he's suffering for it. I hate to have to rely on you again, Hawks. But do you think you could search for Biggs? I haven't the slightest notion where he might be at the moment. But maybe, just maybe, the people here have seen something. A Rogadian gentleman dressed in the same manner as your companion? I'm sorry, but he did not come by here. Hmm, let me think a moment. I will not raise your hopes unduly, but there is a cave situated a short distance to the south. We call it the Fury's Gaze. And it may be worth the while to investigate. I make this suggestion only because your friend seems like a selfless sort. Rather, rather than drawing the enemy to this tower, mayhap he elected to pass us by. 
it is a lot easier to as it is a lot easier as no worries about lighting or angles this this is true this is true I just put mine on my TV since it can go on the TV and, and it just stays there and I just turn on my light <laughs> so it's just a lot easier for it's makes no difference for me but I would understand about you though especially since you um changed positions changed to a whole new setting But one day you'll sort it out again. Like, what type of camera is yours? Like, can you put it on top of a monitor? Or TV? Either or. Because literally all mine is, it's just, it's situation, it's just situated on the TV. Logic Tech Stream Cam. Like, can it go on top of TVs? And be pointed in your general di direction. Guess what I have it on mine. Right here. Because it's, it's literally situated on top of the, the TV. You can, but you need good lighting and TV is too far away. Hmm. Does this light... Because I know Logitech, a lot of Logitechs do this, but they have zooms where you can zoom in. Unless this one doesn't allow you to do that. Because I've seen a lot of cams that allow you to, to zoom in. No, not on this, you believe? Oh, that stinks. Because that would have been great if it had zoom in it. If you were chill, run down your spine. I'm trying to get these. There we go. A port to reg. Sure, sure, sure. Wow, five hours. Whew. I can't believe it's been five hours because I was saying earlier before I started streaming that I will only stream for four hours and end at 12 but here we are Hawks were you able to learn anything not in this area well that stands to reason I suppose seeing as he was trying to lure the Galeans away from me but where within this vast sea of snow and ice could he be Yay, I leveled up! Notorious Biggs. Reg is determined to find Biggs. We can't give up, Hawks. We must find Biggs before he succumbs to the cold or is recaptured. There must be someone in this tower who can help us, even if it's only to tell us where else to look. Ask them for me. Ask anyone who will listen. And hurry! Biggs' chances of survival grow slimmer by the moment. You feel you, uh, you feel me? You said you would only do max six hours yesterday, and you did ten, almost twelve. <sighs> when you when you just get sucked into a game, you just lose all track of time. And well, 
three hours turns to six, six hours turns to twelve, and just like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Your friend is lost in the wilderness, you say? If he's not to be found around here on, or in the vicinity of the dark hold, it is possible he made for White Brim. To reach it, one must travel through Denifon Pass, the southern end of which lies to the north and east of here. While I make no guarantee that your search will be fruit bit will will bear fruit, it is surely better than worrying in at idleness. I wish you luck. Oh, and one more thing: do tread warily when climbing the stairs there. Here, not not a moon ago, I near broke my neck when I slipped and took a took a tumble. You know what? I can. I could deal with the pain. Yeah. Bunny was telling you off for gaming so long. <laughs> well, if you're having fun and you're having fun, there's no problems with that. <laughs> but I will be taking a, a little short break. I'm going to go get something to drink.
I have returned. I have returned. Excuse me. Oh, dang eyes. But yeah. So how are you enjoying Batchet in Legend difficulty? So what did you think of it compared to normal mode? I see something a little floofy, but and hello Snorlax, how are you doing? How are you doing? And another person enters stream and I do a wheel. Come on, come on, come on. Change as the levels you thought you would be difficult weren't and the easy ones were hard. <laughs> so the opposite, it's an opposite land now. Strange. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's the same thing, I think. Okay. Matter of fact. Oh, boy. Oh, it's there it is. There's the matter of fact page. Let's see. I said that one. <laughs> hmm, here you go. No. Actually, I should choose maybe somebody else. Okay, okay, here we go. Fact. There, there were active volcanoes on the moon when dinosaurs were alive. Most of the volcanoes probably stopped one billion years ago, but NASA findings have suggested there might still have been active lava flow a hundred million years ago when dinosaurs were still roaming. BLB, okay, alrighty. The toy us bags. Our orders are to take you back, dead or alive. Which will it be, Engineer? Why don't you come and find out, Tin Head? It. I'm not muted. Okay, good. Why is Biggs and Yida practically doing the same battle animation? And she's over here, just behind a rock, though. What the heck? Ah, Hawks. It is well that you are here. The situation is grave. Biggs is in a 
Things is in a bad way. We need to do something right now. Gita has the right of it. He will perish if we delay. With me. He's not alone. Kill them all. Get rid of you. Get rid of the the um archers. I can deal with you, with you, yes, yes. Now take out one. Nice pit talent. More than I'll conducive to Merriman. No! I want to aim at this guy. Oh, this metal tin can. No, you're not going to take out your Shola. What are, you, what are you doing? My thanks. Another m moment, and I, I would have. He has been too. He has been too long in the cold. We must find shelter for him. Monument Tower, you say? Very well. Yuda and I shall bear him there with all haste. Sid will be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge again. Ah, oh, I love reunions. Mount's good. I cannot thank you enough, Hawks. And the same goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. Oh, don't mention it. We are a family, are we not? Well, well yes. It's just... It's just, I didn't think... I didn't think I'd ever see him again. I owe the lot of you my life. And you saved Wedges too, Hawks. I'm losing count of how many I owe you. Biggs, Reg, 
Gods, it's good to see the two of you again. Jafe, it's you! It's really you! In our hearts, we knew you were still alive, but to finally see you in the flesh. When Alphenaud told me of the raid on the Raking Sands, I feared the worst. What happened? The enemy struck with Naria warning. We didn't stand a chance. Wedge and I were in the workshop when they came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials had us at gunpoint. It must have been awful. There's one thing I don't understand though. How did the Garleans get there so fast? I mean, the immortal flames should have seen them coming, right? I myself have asked the same question. That day, when I returned to the carnage at the Raking Sands, I noted not a mess in the horizon. Nothing at all to suggest the passing of an Imperial force. From this, I conclude that the Garleans came neither by land nor by air. Nigh. Nay, they were they were born there by potent teleportation magics. Magics of the kind used by the Asians. Carry on. We were bound and blindfolded and bundled into the cargo bay of a waiting airship. I can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came for us to disembark, we found ourselves in the midst of an Imperial stronghold, Castrum Sentry. Upon arrival, we were marched off into the main complex. Biggs and I were thrown into a detainment cell together, while, Min while Menphilia and the others were taken elsewhere. That was the last we heard of that from them. Castrum Sentry. What happened next? Well, we were held in isolation for what felt like years, but was probably moons, or maybe only weeks. And then, without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel, which we found out was bound for Golemald, much to our dread. We knew that if we were taken back there, we wouldn't like to, le like to leave again. So risky though it was, we sabotaged the ship's altitude control and thereby forced an emergency landing. And in the midst of the ensuring chaos, we managed to slip our characters. The rest, as I say, is history. <laughs> ha! If I didn't know better, I'd call that a likely story. Sabotaging the altitude controls of an airborne vessel. That will have been Big's handiwork, like, like as not. You always were resourceful in a tight spot, my friend. <laughs> Hawks, thank you for returning my dear assistance to me. It would seem I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. There are still many questions in my mind, but the answers can wait. Menphilia and the others still want for rescue. Alright, you lot, go. Garland Ironworks is back in business. Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Hurrah! Sweet. There we go. Come into my castrum. Sid wants to prepare a stra strategy to rescue Menphilia and the other Skyons. Thanks to you, Biggs and Reg are with us again. Now we must find a way to rescue Menphilia and the others. Cause no, we've kept them waiting too long already. Based on what we've learned, I believe it's safe to say they're being held at Castrum Sentry. So let us convene at Revenant's Toll in Mordona. Tis as good a place 
as any to prepare and better than most. The road leading east, then south, will get you there. When we arrive, let us seek the advice of the local adventurers. We're bound to learn a thing or two that will benefit our mission. Okay. There we go. So I wonder, Mobius, if you're still there, that is. I wonder what quest are you on now? Are you fully caught up with me already? I won't be surprised. Hey, where? Oh, you have to talk to then. Well met, friend. What, br what brings you to Revenant's Toll? Did I hear you rightly? Your friends are being held captive at Castrum Sentry, and you want to rescue them? I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove difficult. The stronghold has been on high alert of late, with armored patrols seen about the perimeter around the clock. Not even a fly could get within a hundred yarms of the walls undetected. If the Garleans were alerted to our coming, we cannot know what they would do to Menphilia and the others. We must act with the greatest stealth. Aye, it has to be good old-fashioned infiltration. But with security so tight, how are we going to smuggle ourselves in? Why, I have a mind to walk through the front door. Huh? The front door? Aye, we'll disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a suit of magic tech armor, and impeccable timing. Heh, that's a bold strategy, but it just might work. Where we are, there's certainly no shortage of opportunities to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't even suspect that we savage Erosians would think to use their technology. Then it's settled. If you're, if you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Glamont. The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire and happens to know a deal about Castrum Sentry besides. I've no doubt that he'd want to be of aid. Yida and I shall go to reconnoiter Garlean activity at the Stronghold. It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we had a chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Hawks. Let's do this. Sometimes I wonder, Yida, are there ever times when you are not enth enthused? I'm nothing if not enthused, Yishtola, and you're beginning to remind me of Papilamo. <laughs> Looking for Glamont, are you? Well, you found him. Whoever you are. Eh? You're looking to get inside Castrum Sentry and you need my help? Heh. <laughs> Something tells me we're gonna get along just fine. Getting even with a Garland mold. Glam Glamont would like to aid in your mission to rescue the captured Skyons. So you have friends at Castrum Sentry what want for rescue that Slafborn knows me too well. Aye. You can count on my help. I've got a score to settle with the Imperials. 
and I never passed on an opportunity to get back as at the those sons but enough about me let's talk strategy rescuing folk from captivities right delicate business a simple oversight just one little bl blunder and it's all over you can't leave any room for uncertainty for starters you need to confirm beyond a shadow of a doubt that your friends friends are where you think they are you don't want to risk your neck only to rediscover they've been moved elsewhere but how can you find out you ask by following these instructions if you approach sentry from the east you'll see a swampland to your left called the tangle get in there never mind all the marbles and navigate your way to the southwestern corner you'll you'll come upon some drainage pipes coming down from the stronghold don't ask me how i know but one of them leads back up to the command command tower. If you listen closely, might be as you can eavesdrop on some of the happenings within. Once we know for certain your friends are there, we'll move to the next stage of the operation. Now get going and Godspeed. Okay. So I can go this way. Okay, got it. This way. Sweet. Sweet. Oh man, that looks that looks cool. Fucking, that looks great. Hey, Marvel. Goodbye, Marvel. Leave me alone. Oh, do I need to be going up? Okay, fine. And I'll go around then. The, the person on the um, cat, please. Thank you. Don't notice the cat. Don't notice the cat. Oh, there's the entrance to it. Yeah, and the cat just runs right into the the pipe. The cats are brave. And why do these things come here? Leave me alone! Can I get in there? Thank you.
the faint sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. What of the captive? Does she still refuse to speak? She may as well be a deaf mute for all the information we've gotten out of her. The others aren't much better. The Elysian gets on my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, it's only to spout gibberish. I do wonder, why is the Tribunus so obsessed with the, this Menphilia woman? They say she possessed some mystical power, something we Gorleans don't have. Mystical power? Like the kind of the beastmen use? How am I supposed to bloody know? If you're so curious, why don't you ask the Tribunus yourself? As well, try to tumble her. I like my head where it is. Thank you very much. Our break is over. Best we get back to our stations. Their footfalls go fainter until all is silence. Well, convenient. They do all that by the pipe for me to listen to. Convenient. So convenient. I could just teleport it back here. I don't know why I did not do that. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Tis good to see you again, Hawks. I'm given to understand you have conducted some reconnaissance. Tell me, what were you able to learn? So Menphilia and the others are indeed at Castrum Century. Their presence thus confirmed we may proceed with the mission. While you were afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Pray have the details from him. Good work, Hawks. As Alphenaud has already told you, we've plotted out a course for the rescue. The gist of it is unchanged. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Glaumont is looking into ways to, proc to procure a suit of Magitek armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some preparation of my own. Menphilia and the others are counting on us, Hawks. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. So I will be ending, ending the recording, so I'll take, be taking a small break while the recording is chain is getting processed so I'll be back in about five minutes or so whenever it takes for the recording to finish processing so I'll be back in a bit <laughs> 